வணக்கம் வணக்கம் எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் ஆல் மதியம் வணக்கம் டு யூகே நகர்தாஸ் மாலை வணக்கம் டு நகர்தாஸ் ஃப்ரம் இந்தியா அண்ட் சிங்கப்பூர் காலை வணக்கம் டு நகர்தாஸ் ஃப்ரம் அமெரிக்கா கனடா அண்ட் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் டு ஆல் பார்ட்டிசிபன்ஸ் ஃபார் தோஸ் ஹூ டோன் மீ ஐ ஆம் த கரண்ட் செக்ரட்டரி ஆஃப் லண்டன் நகர்தாஸ் சங்கம் அண்ட் இஸ் மை பிளஷர் இன் மீட்டிங் யூ ஆல் டுடே திஸ் இஸ் த தேர்ட் இவெண்ட் ஜாயிண்ட்லி ஹோஸ்டட் பை த லண்டன் நகர்தாஸ் சங்கம் அண்ட் த யூனிக் யூகே நகர்தாஸ் சங்கம் and you can not expect many more in the, in the next few months today's event unlike the previous event is quite different in content and format we nagarthas are, are a well known business community but with the world economy changing rapidly we also need to keep pace with the changes and make informed and wise decisions time to time keeping this in mind the sangam initiated this event financial savviness and today we are going to have a quite lively talk on a variety of topics and for this we are invited four renowned speakers from india singapore and uk the auditor chokelingam from singapore who is also my brother stock and this paraniyapan who is also my engineering classmate mrs meena lakshman from london and auditor visarakshi kaliraj from madurai a more detailed introduction of the guest speakers will be given later by mr sekapan thanks to all four of you for accepting my invitation and willingness to share your knowledge which i'm sure will benefit all our nagarthas in some way or the other after identifying the speakers the next was to identify the event coordinator and for this we needed someone who had a sound financial knowledge and our president professor nathiyappan suggested mr sekapan and most of you would agree there wouldn't be a much better choice mr sekapan resides in london and is a well known independent financial advisor providing a range wide range of financial services to our nagarthas community in uk thank you sekapan for accepting our request and you have put a tremendous effort in the last four weeks and i'm sure which we all are going to benefit in the next couple of hours i would also like to take this opportunity to thank the, all those who have contributed to the fund being raised for for the corona affected people in india your difference makes a big difference your your donation makes a big difference the charity page is still open and kindly request all to make whatever donations big or small to help the needy in this very difficult situation i would also like to remind you next week 5th july we have renowned speaker mr suki sivam giving us a talk on the topic why get talmai kol the zoom details will be sent to you shortly with this i'd like to conclude my speech and request mani megare ramasami daughter of ramasami chellappan and tenmoli to sing the prayer song after which mr sekapan will take over for the main event thank you all nandri chakalingam anka vanakkam yen peer mani meghalai ramaswami naan indra irai ungalukkaga saraswathiye patri paada pogiren itta itta runnathil en aasriyai thirumadi kalpanavikka nandri solla virumbigiren எனக்கு இந்த வாய்ப்பு கொடுத்ததற்கு மிக்க நன்றி சரஸ்வதி தாயை சரஸ்வதி 
Thank you, Mani Meghalai. Uh, thank you, Chakalingam, for the introduction. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the show, Financial Savviness. It's a pleasure to have you all here, and thank you for spending the Sunday afternoon or evening with us. Uh, getting straight into the show, see, mankind will adapt. advantage. We will adapt to any specific situation. And the two Sangams, the London Nagratar Sangam and the Nagratar Sangam UK, have shown this to us extremely well where we normally used to meet in two different geographical locations twice or thrice a year. They have now suddenly come back and used this adversity uh, very much to their advantage. And we are now doing the 10th show, 10th online show, which not only in many circumstances, they've also invited a global audience. So yeah, they say when adversity comes, uh, some people break and others break records. I think the two Sangams have significantly shown us that there are many records to be broken. And, and I'm very proud and pleased to invite you all to the 10th event of, of the London Nagratar Sangam, and which is being jointly hosted by the Nagratar Sangam UK. Uh, today is about financial savviness. Uh, we will, uh, it's a, as Chakalingam said, it's a, it's a different format. Where previously we've had uh, shows that appreciated Nisha things in life, say uh, interest in Tamil or Saivam. This show is more practical. This is more day to day. Uh, this is perhaps what you can take away and, and act upon at the end of the event. So there will be a change in format where we had one speaker speak and then a question answer session. We now have four speakers, which is a panel discussion. And we're looking to cover almost 20 topics within the next two, three hours so that one topic or the other will be useful to pretty much all our audience. So we are also trying to get adapted to the new change in format. Uh, this, is, this is a case where not all speakers are sitting together in one room and we are trying to use technology and adapt to it. So in advance, I'd like to say if there are any hiccups, please bear with us. We look to set that right as soon as possible. The other thing with this, uh, with this specific event is it's not an entertainment event. It's more about practical tips. So I would urge each one of you to, to adapt what the speakers say into your personal circumstances. When you a personal life lab, personal financial situation, speakers will be very important. And, and we'll all be happy as organizers, we'll all be happy if each of the audience can take away at least one further to-do item from the show on their financial to-do list. That is what will determine the success of the show. And I hope all of you will be able to, to pay attention and, and adapt this to personal circumstances and get back with an action, actionable item at the end of the show. With that, with that brief introduction, I'd like to jump straight into the topic. The, the very old and popular saying is money is time. But I think for today, I'd like to flip that saying on its head and say time is money. Uh, the reason I say that is because all of us, by virtue of our professions or our day-to-day -day jobs, we have managed to be more affluent financially. In the recent years, the economies we've adapted 
uh, money is no longer uh, as much as a problem it was before. But what this has done is this has made a lot of us time poor. So where panathinaala nama kavalo or issue illa naalum time la vandu we don't have quality time. And and this is what Warren Buffett beautifully says when he says, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work till you die. So unless we can find ways in which we can earn money without spending time, we will find it difficult to have quality retirement or use the time for other pursuits. So today's show is is more about uh, how we can we can make money without having to spend time and that's where investment strategies and financial savviness comes into play if if wealth were to be a pot let's assume the wealth to be a pot today's show is about having additional streams of input into that wealth pot if all of us have our day jobs professions occupations business which is the significant uh, source of uh, input into the wealth pot but we will need to adapt and have more input streams such as investments and and today is about trying to ensure we have multiple streams in which we can add to our wealth pot streams of input is one making sure we control what's being what's going out is a very important aspect as well and you'll all agree uh, that tax is a very significant part of what goes away so trying to be tax efficient becomes equally important nagratars when we've never depended on one source of income we've always had multiple sources of income namba vandu even even our periya vidigal la paatha source of water ke vandu we've had multiple streams so malai neer segarippa irukattum kenara irukattum moorani we have more than one source which we've always looked at for for water so we need to adapt the same strategy in in these difficult times it is very important that we are not rely relying on just one source of uh, input to the wealth pot and we have multiple source so of course uh, the other challenge that all of us have today is covid uh, this is an unprecedented and uncharted territory where nobody really knows what's going to happen uh, a lot of things have come about to be new neethu varaikum perumiya irundha pala vishayangal ipo vandu it's not is not as popular Uh, i mean for example when the when people used to live abroad there was a lot of pride in saying uh, he or she is abroad in uk or us wherever but covid one that that was turned a bit and people started pitying for those living abroad because the virus was a significant impact and today we have a similar situation for chennai where people people are not proud to say they are from chennai and 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 that's the kind of changes that covid has brought about Uh, we've had a lot of bad news and bad publicity a lot of them are false and fake so today we'll try to establish the true truth behind covid how how we can be prepared for it and how do we take this forward பொதுவா இதுவும் கடந்து போகும் என்ற நம்பிக்கை தான் வந்து இப்ப நமக்கு ரொம்ப அதிகமா தேவைப்பட்ட நம்பிக்கை வந்து இதுவும் கடந்து போகும் we will get out of covid and move on to the other other aspects and and carry on with life the other way to say it is tough times don't last tough people do this show is making us more tough this show is about making us more tough about making us more prepared at least from a financial perspective to deal with the difficult times in terms of uh, topics today there are there are a lot of a lot of small topics that we need to tackle but in terms of classification of the topics in itself we're looking at the global economy uh, global economy is a bit like weather forecast we cannot control it we'll have to accept it we cannot control it but this has a significant impact on what we as individuals do so so we'll start off with understanding the global economy and then move on to to investments which is of course the art of making money with money the the advantage of uh, being in uk is that it gives us access to the world markets from uk through your own investments in uk within uk bank accounts or uk financial institute we have the opportunity to invest across global markets and it's important for us to understand how well we can do that again uh, having an origin from india we have the choice of investing within india which which is a very fast growing market so we can again look at how we can uh, use those opportunities to spread our investments and make the most out of the world economy So Nagratars Vandu we've always been a business community 
we may not be as much into business as we were a few generations ago but but risk taking i would say is probably in our dna it's it's not something that's new to us investment fund is not about removing risk it's about managing risk so do not think what's going to come up in the following sessions means that it's a risk free proposition it is a risk it's it's about managing risks and i think nagratars have done well in terms of managing risk in the past we need to believe in our uh, dna and and take up the next step so after the global economy and investments we'll also turn our uh, attention to tax it's often said tax is a problem uh, of course tax is a big problem but but it's a good problem i would say uh, because we would rather have a problem of tax rather than a problem without an income so tax is a good problem to have uh, planning strategies there are plenty of planning strategies available to ensure we can keep things whether it's earnings whether it's wealth we can ensure we can keep the uh, keep our finances uh, very tax savvy in a tax efficient manner uh, no matter how glued on we are to the topic of uh, taxation because this is a moving goal post because the government as far as uk is concerned hmrc keep changing its rules keep changing its policies it's a it's a it's a moving goal post and we need to stay on top of it to ensure we are coming successful despite all the changes again again with people coming from an indian origin we do have to deal with dual taxation where we are looking at uh, looking at transactions between india and uk we need to understand dual taxation and make sure the taxation is very efficient as well those are some of the topics we will cover uh, like like chokalingam did mention earlier the format of the show is slightly different uh, it's not a case where one one speaker speaks and then we ask them questions it's it's more a panel discussion so you will see speakers keep coming in at various intervals depending upon the topic there is no specific order we are following in terms of which speaker speaks when but depending upon the topic i'll be looking to divert the question to the relevant uh, speakers and all of them because they come from different backgrounds although all within the financial segment they all come from uh, different different backgrounds and each of them will will approach the topic from their own perspectives so and then at the end of the show after all the panel discussion is over with all the topics we then uh, go across to to a question and answer session in the end so you will have an opportunity to raise your individual questions towards the end so be prepared for that as well with that with that brief background uh, i have pleasure in introducing our four speakers one by one i'll first start with auditor chokkalingam annavand is a native of nerkuppai uh, is an experienced practicing auditor in singapore Uh, he is a fellow of chartered accounts of accountant of england and wales as well as singapore he holds a masters degree in business administration uh, currently is a partner at telloc partners in singapore uh, he spent several years in his uh, in his career with the big four accounting firms he spent 15 years as chief financial officer and financial director roles in multinationals and corporates including telstra asia Uh, he has experience across all of asia and the middle east so he is in a good position to give us a global or a worldwide perspective anavan is a very sought after speaker in singapore he is an advisor and mentor takes a lot of interest in other people and and sharing his knowledge uh is not new to the uk he has spent a few years in the uk before and a lot and a lot of people are bound to know him again by his virtue of his stay in 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 the uk a uh, popularly known as auditor chucks in singapore he is well known within the nagartar community in singapore especially for streaming and create streamlining and creating the bylaws of the dandai the bani murugan temple uh, chokling amannan if you'd like to say hello to our audience uh, hello thanks say kapan and thanks for the introduction i look forward to uh, having a good session with all of you today thanks thank you and of course we would also look forward to the session with you Uh, the next speaker we have is uh, PLM Palaniyappan. Uh, he's a native of Karaikudi. Uh, he's an investment strategist, uh, engineer by background with an MBA in international finance. Uh, he's an expert in stock market. He's a member of the BSc, NSc, and CDSL. Now, when I was putting this up, I did not understand that uh, being a member of all these three significant boards 
is, is such an accomplishment and such a task. It's not easy for anyone in the stock market to be a member of just say one of these, but uh, we have, we're blessed to have Pranepan who's a member of all of these, uh, all of these three uh, fraternities. Uh, he runs, he's a managing director of Brahmat Financial Services, uh, which has offices in Chennai and Coimbatore. Uh, he sits in the syllabus committee uh, of the Anna University for the MBA program. Uh, is a contributor to the Derivative Council Board, and he participates in several investor programs in Indian televisions. So if you'd like to say hello, Palnepan, to our Thank audience. Thank you, Sekhapan, for the nice introduction. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Palnepan. Look forward to speaking more with yeah. you as the show progress, progresses. Uh, the next we have Auditor C. Visalakshi Kaleraj. Uh, she's a native of Balayapatti uh, from the SPN family. She's a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. She's a partner of Peri Tyagaraj and Co Madurai, a firm that has been advising clients on tax and audit matters since 1993. Uh, Peri Tyagaraj and Co is a very well-known brand among Nagaratars and a well-established firm for the last uh, 70 years or so. She's a third generation auditor and we are very happy to have auditor C. Visalakshi Kaliraj. Visalakshi, if you'd like to say a quick hello. Thanks, Anne. Hello, everyone. I'm Vishalakshi Kalagach, a practicing child accountant from Madurai. My native is Valiapati. I'm glad to share my thoughts on NRI taxation with the blessings of my grandfather, late Sri Peri Tyagaraj, who was the first chartered accountant from our community. Thank you. Now, that is very nice to hear. Thank you, Vishalakshi. We look forward to interacting with you in the next two and a half hours. Uh, our last speaker is Dr. Meena Lakshmanan. She's uh, from the UK. She lives in the UK. Native of Karekudi. Uh, she's partner and head of alternatives at LGT Westra. She has over 20 years experience in financial services. She holds a PhD in operational research. She's an experienced investment manager in the UK. She generally advises the institutional teams. If you'd like to say a quick hello, Dr. Meena Lakshmanan. Hello everyone and uh, I should start off by thanking the London Nagratar Sangam and the UK Nagratar Sangam for giving me this opportunity and more importantly I'd like to thank everyone who zoomed in today uh, for this call because I and you know as we spoke time is money so giving your Sunday is very valuable thank you very much and uh, sorry about my background I mean it's very bland I did I couldn't find a great bookcase or I couldn't find lovely pictures of the temple. And this shows how old I am. I couldn't work out my technology very well. But thank you very much. Look forward to the conversation. Not a problem, Dr. Meena. We're more interested in, in the knowledge you can share with us at all. Let's not worry about the backgrounds. Uh, before we go into the show, uh, of course, the show is being hosted out of United Kingdom. And I'm sure all of you are waiting for the disclaimers to come by, without which we cannot carry on. First, first and foremost, uh, the agenda of the show is to share information. So by no means, this is an advice. The, the key difference between advice and information is information is there for everybody. Advice is where somebody has had the opportunity to understand your personal circumstances, your financial objectives, your risk appetite, and then make a recommendation to say, given your personal situation, I recommend you can do whatever. So what's going to come up in the show is not advice. It's purely information sharing based on the wealth of knowledge that the speakers have. They're looking to share their knowledge. Another issue is whenever we're talking of investments, uh, we need to understand capital is at, is at risk. As said earlier, uh, investment, investing is not about removing risk. It's about managing risks efficiently. So please do take that in mind and, and try to mitigate your risks and use the information carefully to suit your personal circumstances. Uh, lastly, this is the viewpoint of the guest speakers. I mean, very often there could be an alternative school of thought. You might not always agree with what the speakers have to say, but we're going with the speaker's knowledge and understanding of the topic. And we appreciate that sometimes you might have a different school of thought, but, but today is about understanding the schools of thought that I experienced uh, speakers are here to share. So, I mean, the, the, the key intention is the speakers mean it well for us and, and they genuinely believe what they share is, is going to be useful to us. So we'll always take that, take the, uh, take the contents of the show with that disclaimer in mind and then go on to the show in itself. 
So first, uh, the first topic, as we said, is going to be about global economy. And we're going to have uh, Auditor Chakalinga Mandan to come and share, uh, share his understanding of the global economy. And he will also give us uh, a very clear perspective of, uh, of, of what, what the true truth is. Uh, in the social media, analysis, we do not know what is the true real position and what is the, what is the fake news. So Anand has done extensive research over the last few days to give us the give us the global economic scenario as of today. And when I say as of today, I mean it is as of today because even as Anand started preparing uh, this topic, I think a lot of things have changed and Anand has kept up to date. So you will see in the slides to come, he's updated it as of June 2020. He'll also tell us why and how we can be positive uh, given this, this is a calamity, this is an adverse situation, no doubt, but, but how can we be prepared? How can we stay positive is what we're looking to do. And, and this, is about, this is about the global economy. I'll, I'll invite Anand to share his knowledge on the same. Okay, thank you, Sekapan. And once again, thanks to... We'll start off with Sekapan. So, I mean, yeah. uh, thank you for all the participants and also the speakers, organizers who have arranged this uh, webinar. And uh, just before I kick off, uh, two things to uh, just add on to the introduction that which uh, Sekapan has given. I was in UK with the, in Halifax with Dr. Subramanian. Many of you may know that. And uh, my Meena and is my Chitti, my mother and Meena are sisters. So I, I lived in Halifax for a year. I studied in Huddersfield. Then I did my articleship in Leeds. So basically I was there for about six to seven years. Then I moved back to Singapore. So I may know, I still remember some of you. I have been to your houses together with Mr. Subramanian. So that's a quick background of my UK uh, life. Now moving on here uh, with the time and interest, I'll quickly kick off with the presentation. I was asked to talk about the economy and the impact of COVID how it's affecting the economy. I've done a lot of research and to put some uh, statistics together. They're quite uh, intensive, but I'm sure they will uh, circulate it to you later after the event. Now, first thing is to, what I've done here is uh, globally more than 9.8 people are affected in coronavirus. We have seen this in many places, in many newspapers, but I have pulled them together as one consolidated file. So we have 9.8 million affected in coronavirus and the death rate is about 493,000, something like up to yesterday or today. And if you look at the world population, which is 7.8 billion, 0.13% uh, are the people affected. And out of the affected cases, the average death rate is about 5%. So that's, I mean, we, sometimes it becomes a very big fear factor. So you don't want to underestimate and at the same time you want to overestimate it also. But these are basic facts supported by a lot of research from UN and World Bank and other things like that. The global economy is expected to go down by 5.2. So compared to the previous year, we are looking at a year-on-year -year movement is about 8% down in total. So that's something. The 1.6 billion people will be losing their job in May. This is very serious. According to the working population, 1.6 billion people across the world may be losing their job. And UN stated that 8.5 million trillion output will be lost in the next two years, 2020 and 2021. The World Bank forecast, we will recover by 4%, 4.2% 4 in 2021. That's, that's a very high level summary at the global. Then we'll go down into a little bit more. Second, next, next slide. Okay, this one continues with the first one. In case if, they, if the um, um, COVID continues and it does a second impact, we are expecting a drop of about eight to 10%. The first slide had a drop of 5%. But if this continues, it can go to 8 to 10. So therefore, everybody is very uh, aware of it and they are getting serious to make measures, to take measures for it. IMF expects the US economy to go down by 6% and rebound by 4.7 in next year. Many people are saying that, yes, it is going down, but it will come back very fast. But I'll tell you later why and how. Industrial production here in UK is about 24% down in April. I'm sure you all know that you've seen your local papers in UK. Australian economy is about 10% down and only 3% going up next year. Euro, Eurozone is about 8.7% down and about 5% going up next year. These are just very high level numbers in case if you need to put some perspective to these. Uh, now we are going into a little bit more of China. We are looking at China first year, which is interesting here, when the whole world is going down, but China is going up. 
So China is projected to grow a decline of 1.2 from 6. Point, they had 6.1 positive, but now they're going to have 1.2 positive. It's still a positive compared to other countries which are very much negative. And China will rebound in 9.2% in 2021, which is a very, very big growth again, but God knows how they're going to do it. Of course, they have their own population to consume and it's a consumer economy there. Uh, uh, China's uh, growth in GDP is about 5% drop, 6 690 billion is lost in terms of the uh, dollar value. And also China posted a surplus of 62.93 in May. This is a trade surplus between the countries. They are having 62.93 billion surplus in May. Why? Because 89 billion has been of medical equipments and medical supplies has been shipped out of China since April, March, April, May. This one, three months alone, they have shipped out 89.1 billion of medical supplies. And that is putting them in 62.93 billion trade surplus in May. So they know their game and they know what they're playing. Unemployment in China is around 80 million, which is quite a huge population. And they expect to come back with 9%. So if they're going down to 1.2, the first point, the last point that they're planning to come up with, sorry, 9 million jobs they're planning to create again in the uh, next year. So, but these are the numbers which we see from various reports. But of course, it's always a questionable when it comes to China's numbers, because it's a question of transparency there. This one is Asia and ASEAN. Next one. Okay, this one is basically, we call it, oh no, I'm going to Asia. Yeah, Asia is basically covers India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and all these. ASEAN is just like the European community, which is basically Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, a small uh, circle of countries here. That's the technical difference between the two. Growth in Asia is expected to fall to 0%. I would say even it go into negative compared to 5.4 we had last year. So Asia's trading partners, basically US and UK are down by, or Europe by down by 6%. And that is main reason why the exports of Asia are dropping very much and impact, impacting their own economy. While the contraction in other countries like Malaysia is down by 3.1, Philippines is 5% down, Thailand is 1.5, uh, sorry, sorry um, 1.9 for Philippines, 5 for Thailand, and 1.5 for Indonesia. These are the percentages they expect to drop. Uh, but Vietnam is booming in Asia. Vietnam is 2.7% positive asset uh, this month. So a lot of investments are going out. Many are coming out from China, from uh, China. And where are they going to put the base? They're shifting the factories. They want a second channel. They want to set up a backup plan, a disaster recovery, second um, uh, operation. Many of them are focusing in Vietnam which is one of a fast growing country, the currency value is cheaper, and the people are more committed and loyal there with the hard work in there. So of course the language is another issue, but they will get through it. So most probably at this moment in the, in the last two months, compared to all the Asian countries, uh, where the US is moving or where the investments are moving, there's a lot happening in Vietnam. And uh, Singapore expects about 7% drop compared in 2020, compared to the projected 3%. We projected three, but we will be going somewhere close to negative seven at the moment, shrink by four to 7%. IMF growth projects for ASEAN is 7.8%. Once the economy kick starts, we will do about 7.8% uh, in, in the ASEAN economy between these five countries, six countries together. Okay, that's depending on the uh, policies and how do we manage the circumstances. Sorry about it, uh, just like, next one. UK, I think you will know better, better than me, but of course you see your daily papers there. The UK GDP contracts by 11.5%, which is about 14% in the, if the second wave comes in, it's going to be 14% down. It's unlikely to recover from the crisis until 2023. And I'm, I'm sure it's more or less the same across the world. 7.6 million have been, have jobs have been lost in UK so far. That's up to June. UK government is preparing to unveil an economic stimulus package in July. I think you might know this already, but there's something which has been going on. They're going to release another round of stimulus packages for the UK economy. The proposals are to invest in training, training programs, they'll give you subsidies, grants, and things like that, infrastructure and help for the technology firms. Bank of England is forecasting about 25% contraction in second quarter, the deepest in the three centuries they have seen. And uh, due to an extended lockdown, an economic loss of 235 billion has been incurred 
in by June. That's for the UK. And the next one is continuing the UK. The government has given support packages to protect jobs and businesses. The banks have given mortgage holidays. The direct cash grants, about 10,000 to 25,000 pounds have been given to different people, different industry. Focus is on the sectors that can best support the environment, increase the job creation, and support the recovery. The UK economy is expected to recover by 4.5% in 2021, compared to a drop of 8% in 2021. So nearly you're, you're getting back 50% of what you have lost by 2021. That's what UK is about. We'll come back into the other things when we continue further. India, India is a dynamic growing giant on its own with plus and minuses all over the world. Uh, sorry, all over the country. India's economic growth is forecast to slow to 1.2% in 2020. And they had uh, projected about 5.0%. Initially, they had 5% projection, but now they're going to 1.2. But in reality, we never know. It may even go down further to 0 or 0 0.5. So it's more or less it's a standstill. And the State Bank of India has uh, said that 40% drop in GDP is expected in April to June quarter. We will know this when the results are released in July, August. Then during the lockdown alone, 140 million people have lost their employment in India. This is a very, very tough number. And I did a lot of uh, checking forward and backward, but it still remains the same, maybe 5% plus or minus, but it's still around there. Indian economy was expected to lose 4.5 billion a day for the first 21 days of complete lockdown. That was one of the projections given in the forecasting reports of India. It is estimated that loss to the tourism industry alone will be 2.1 billion for March and April. So the tourism industry in India, which is about 2.1 billion, just that one sector, and if we imagine all other sectors together, how much it will be. According to KPMG report, the venture capitalist investing in startups in India has gone down by 50% in the, uh, for compared to what they had in Q4. In May, about 91 lakhs, 9.1 migrants have traveled on special trains and buses. So people got stuck in different places. About 9.1 million people have moved to their home cities and hometown. Uh, Finance Minister Sita Raman announced that free food will be given to 80 million people, migrant workers. That's costing $490 million to the economy. And uh, as of April 12, I didn't update this uh, too much. So it was 37,000 relief camps and 26,000 food camps had been set up. This is just, I put this point to give you an idea of the size of the problem and the issues they had as India as a big country. 37,000 relief camps and 26,000 food camps were still there and still people struggling and they couldn't get what they want. That much was the issue there at that time. India's economy is forecasted to grow to 9.5% in 2021. I mean, if, if this proves right, I think everybody will be over the moon. But we got to check what the number will be later. Okay, let's move to the next one. All governments around the world have introduced stimulus packages. Now we have seen a bit of the statistics, the drop, the job loss, the economy impact and things like that. Now I'm going more into what government is doing to support everyone and the economy. So I just give another view on this. Uh, governments around the world have introduced various stimulus packages. Chinese government has given 506 billion. ASEAN again, 6.7 for Thailand. Philippines is 59, Malaysia 67, Vietnam 12, Indonesia 27.5 billion packages have been given to individual, to business, to various industries, sectors, everything. This is the total relief. Singapore government has so far provided close to $100 billion, which is a very big number for the population that we have here, which is around close to 6 million. And Narendra Modi has given 265 billion stimulus packages for India. UK has announced 127 plus 257, close to 384. And you are still going to get some more in July. So if you do an average, I think UK is quite a big number for the size of the population you have also. And the US has got a 3 trillion stimulus package passed through their Go, um, um, uh, sorry, the parliament, and uh, they are they are trying their hard, but still, uh, obviously, we have to wait and see how it goes. Business and economic outlook. I mean, now we have been there from uh, the, this is just giving an overview of how we, we see the outlook is going to be. I repeat this year, a good functioning government, a good functioning government, will see the coronavirus as a temporary shock. It's only a temporary one, and they'll get over it. 
support will be given towards the development of vaccine, medical sector, and continue to support the medical staff working in the front line. Next support will be given to workers who have lost their job. They'll find their job creation so many ways they're finding it. Innovative and creativity will be the key in building the products and the businesses in the future. Managing cash flow, which is basically your collection, payment, debts, timing differences, working capital requirements, all this comes under this bucket as managing the cash flow and saving the resources for a few months after reopening the business will be the key for sustainability. So everybody has been in like a frozen stage now. When things start going, we get too excited and we move up and down and suddenly we don't want to go back into square one again. So we just got to make sure that we are reasonably sustainable and we can continue and move on further. Short-term plan should be ready to roll out to revive back from the losses. When I mean by short-term plan, I'm looking at plan B. What happens if you can't get route from Mumbai to Chennai or from Chennai to Coimbatore or something like that? What are you going to do? So everybody has to do a 360 degree thinking around, the, around their business, around their personal circumstances. So this is completely a different perspective. So don't take anything for granted. That's what the message is here. And then moving the business to online is going to be the most key and effective way to survive from further losses. So that's what is moving the business to online is more important now. Everybody is starting to go in online and the government is encouraging online. So whether you like it or not, whether you know or not, it's time that you got to do it. Okay, next one. Okay, business can look to look connecting with the experts from different sectors who can significantly benefit operations. Let's take, I have a business. I'm doing something now. I want to go online. I want to do it. It's an opportunity here because previously I may be doing only one country or one city or one town, but now by going online, I'm getting multiple exposure. I'm getting a diversified uh, customers. I may go even go global. So look at the opportunity in this situation of crisis also. Good channel of communication is required that you invest, that can inform the customers, staff, everyone, look, I'll collect my payment today. I'll pay you tomorrow. My money has not come in. So the more and more you communicate, the more and more transparency and trust will develop. And that will give you a strong foundation for you to hold your ground. Provide contactless delivery, which is basically leave the things at doorstep and go as we do now. And uh, these are going to be more common again. So um, you need to look at your warranty, how to use the product, how to use a demo, what are the instructions? They can't walk into your showroom to see the demo. So are you going to have a website? Are you going to do things like that? So a little bit of thought process there again. A clear understanding of your supply chain and the demand. Now supply chain, most of the things come from um, China. I mean, look, I used to tell as a joke that when I go to, uh, when I went for a shopping with my mom in Paraikudi, she bought a garlic. And the, and the little boy in that shop asked me, do you want India garlic or China garlic? Then my mom answered, I want India garlic. I was observing this because I was a driver at that time with my mother. Then after coming back home, I asked her, what do you mean by garlic? He's asking you a question and you are also answering. So how much you know about China garlic and India garlic? My mother was clever enough to say that China garlic will not have the garlic smell and India garlic will have the garlic smell. So that's, that's the difference. So, I mean, why I say this is basically the China supply chain has penetrated into Karaikudi and Nelkupai. That's where we are today but how are we going to come out of it? That's one has to think again strong. Okay, now create a backup plan. Is there a possibility of failure in certain circumstances? How will you run it? So right from people, right from missionary, right from delivery, right from transport, right from technology, everything needs to have a parallel environment for every single step you take now. And cyber, city, uh, cyber security is one of the priority for business now. Business is going to hand on moving online. They'll be hacking all these will start to happen. You get a lot of scam calls and things like that. Don't get too excited with that. So just be careful, get the right advice and with the right people. Uh, manufacturing units will have more of safety measures, sanitization, distance keeping, all this is going to become uh, a regular requirement. Recovery is expected to be in about two to three years. It's crucial to stay positive with a few mindset of the business across the world, okay? Now, this is something interesting. I like this picture because you see the two people sitting there far apart and that's how today's life is going to be. This is called new normal, new lifestyle. So the possibility of second wave is possible anytime, as you know, when the economy starts opening up. Working from home, be safe and well sanitized. Online classes for children, mandatory social distancing, wear a mask, more online shopping, 
luxury and for business both is going to be online you buy only what you need you don't you, you don't buy luxury goods you buy only the necessity that's something which is very important in today's life and uh, whether it's a business or home you are going to do online shopping uh, a good internet connection is an important thing whether you are in a village or city this is going to be one of your life communication now stay connected with online with family and friends relatives and elder people in india or back home wherever they are less travel Local and international restrictions are there. Quarantine rules are there. We don't know how long it's going to be. You go from Madurai to Coimbatore, they ask you not to come out for seven days. So what will you do now? So that's where it is going to be. Holidays, fast changing visa rules, increasing airfares. So I don't know how it's going to work and what's going to happen to the hotels. Fear factor. For next one or two years, this fear factor will be there. And I mean, this is only a fear factor. I would just add on that. You shouldn't really worry too much and you should be positive. I'll finish this slide, then I'll go back a quick one on why I should say the business should be positive. This is more of an individual positiveness. It is important to stay positive during these tough times, learning new things and pick up new skills, which is good for you. Meditation, emotional, physical balance, but question who some people find time, some people may not. Eat healthy and food exercise. Uh, um, uh, spend quality time with the family, have meaningful conversation with your children, play indoor games. Looking for each other is one way to stay connected and positive. Make small changes in your life, home, uh, at home to bring in positive feelings. So basically you need to be set the positive mindset in your energy with the positive energy, stay strong with confidence. We shall make it together for better future from individual perspective point of view. From a business perspective point of view, I didn't have time to put the slide, but I'll just cover it. Uh, we had this situation, something like that. If you go back to the previous slide, which is the economic outlook for the business. Yeah, okay, if we go into the, uh, yeah, okay, managing cash flows. Okay, here we had something like this in 2008. Many of you will remember that 2008 was a financial crisis. But what is the difference now? At that time, Basically, the financial crisis happened because it was a failure by the bank. Companies went bankrupt. Government took action against a lot of people. And the housing prices fell. The dollar value dropped. Then many people uh, could not pay the money, lose the jobs and things like that. It was more of an, uh, of an organized way of a financial crisis at that time for the benefit of few people. But we, that was a recession. Now people say it's a depression and things. No, but technically it is not a depression. Depression is something that it takes about few years for you to come back. Recession, it takes about few quarters for you to come back. And why would everybody in the world, or why would every economy and government will say we'll go up by 9%, 10%, 8% like that? Because now it's, it's a lockdown. Lockdown is just we lock the door. There's nothing happened to the economy yet. If you open the door, things will start moving forward. So therefore, there's a money supply is there now. Banks are giving you debt holidays. Government is giving you stimulus packages. They are giving you subsidies and things like that. So the money flow is there now. The equity market is going up. Why? Again, it's another question. Basically, the, the, the interest rates are coming down. The borrowing cost of money is cheaper. People who have the savings would like to invest. So that's the reason why equity market is going up even though an economy is down. So that's another reason also there because there's no other place they, they want to go and invest now. Property market, everybody is taken for a shock for time being now. So there's a difference between the 2008 and 2020. 2020, every country, every government is ready and aggressive, including every citizen to move forward. And that will make the expectations happen. Maybe not as the numbers as you saw in my slide, about one, the two third of it will definitely materialize. And everybody wants to achieve something with today's technology and their career path and the modern way of life which was not available in those in 2008 also. So these are the big differences between the crisis of 2008 and the 2020 now. That's something which you should keep in positive. So you should start moving. You should look at it as a uh, positive way to go more of a globalization and do online model. So I think, look, that's, I'll stop at that level now for this first session and I'll hand it back to uh, Sekhapun. Uh, thank you, Anand. Thank you very much for your in-depth uh, data regarding where we are globally. And it's very promising to note that although we are not in a great position today, the road to recovery is not very, is not very difficult. So at least you're saying we'll be able to bounce back quicker than we did in 2008 or than we are expected to do in the depression. So which is, uh, which is quite comforting to know that this will be more 
of a temporary problem as opposed to a, to a long, long term problem for the foreseeable future. Thank you very much, Helen, once again for your uh, in depth details on that. Uh, moving on from there, uh, I'm now looking to ask our three speakers individually, starting with uh, Parniyappan, on what is the impact that you're seeing as a result of this pandemic, as a result of this coronavirus? What is the impact you're seeing in yeah. your own industry uh, uh, in, in light of corona? So, uh, yeah, if you can share your thoughts. Parniyappan. Yeah. Sure, yeah, Sir Kapan. Before answering you, I want to thank my friend Chukalingam Narajan for referring me to this forum. I thank London Nagarata Sangam and UK Nagarata Sangam for giving me this opportunity. Thank you all. Thank you all for the participants. See, uh, the word, the word positive has become negative in the current scenario. See, uh, it's a topsy-turvy situation, I say. Uh, as like Chokanan said, we cannot take the things for granted. We, we have to keep our head above the water. That means we have to stay positive in the negativity. See, we call the situation as VUCA. It's a volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity situation. But when it comes to stock market, this situation, the valuations are going to be much attractive. That's what's happening. If you look at that, the stock market has come down by more than 38 to 40 percent approximately. See, during the valuation, the value and the valuations are very, very attractive at this time. See, I, I say that the valuations are mouth watering for the people who are sitting on cash. And then at the same time, I say that the valuations are eye watering for the people who are sitting on scripts. See, by nature, script Average pandra ki dairy erko. Panna vechir ko ngalta dairy erko. Ana invest panna dairy var. Ana panna erko dairy erka. That's what I want to say. Uh, let's move to the next slide. See in the last 120 days, this is a Nasdaq Composite Index graph. Uh, we moved from depression to re recession to depression, depression to recovery, and recovery to euphoria. I say uh, it's a type of V-shaped recovery. Why it is a V-shape? The U.S. Central Bank, when they reduce the interest rate to zero, and then they want to keep it for the next two years. Uh, and then they started purchasing the corporate bonds. So this, this is the reason. Can we move to the next slide? The next slide, yeah. Next one. Yeah, this is Nifty. Nifty 50 or a slide. It is almost similar. U.S. or a NASDAQ graph is a V-shape recovery. It looked like a tick mark. Indian Nifty looked like a tick mark. See, early days we used to say that only bull market and bear market. This market, I say that is a kangaroo market. If you look at the bar candle, it's a deep red and deep green. It means that the volatility is something above 2% to 5% by day by day. Negative over 2% here, it will go. 2% here, it So it's a kangaroo market, I say. But Young lot of business, young lot of clients, they handle the emotions effectively in this situation. Most of the people are having time, they had enough time, and then there is no other way. They started investing at the low price, they made money, they are making money, and then I'm sure that they will make money. The traders, swing traders, scalpers, they're all made money as a broker. Our volume is almost doubled compared to the last two years' average. So, Nifty, I say that, that 7,500 is a bottom cup situation, I say as of now. So, we are positive and then I request, I stay positive. Go to Sekapan. Uh, thank you, Palnipan. Thank you for your in-depth views. Uh, it is a bit of a surprise to know that despite the situation, despite the pandemic, the transaction in the, uh, in the stock market in India has been, has been very, very high. Uh, from there, we'll move over to a very similar topic of the impact of coronavirus, but this time from the UK stock market. And because by virtue of being in the UK, we have access to the global markets. So we'll ask uh, Dr. Meena Lakshman to share her views on what's, what's been happening to the UK and the global market in terms as a result of this pandemic. Uh, Thank you, Sekapan. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes, I'll yeah. 
Okay, so what's been happening globally, and I don't want to repeat what uh, my cousin Parniyapan has just said, but that chart is what's happened. You know, basically the markets bottomed on the 23rd of March, and since then there's been kind of recovery. The UK, we've recovered about 50% of the market fall that we saw in March during the COVID crisis. Um, now, this recovery has been very, very interesting because the fall in the markets was incredibly quick and sharp. It really happened within a few days. You know, so the market losing about 35% within 10 working days is unprecedented. It's never happened before, okay? And the people's memory is very short term. So the central bankers bought out the playbook that they used in 2008, and there was huge amount of liquidity pumped into the system the US Federal Reserve has done something totally unprecedented. They've even decided to underwrite, you know, very speculative credit, which basically means right now, pricing risk has become very, very difficult. And this liquidity that's flooded into the market has meant that there's been this huge rally that we've seen. The market at the moment is moving on sentiment as opposed to valuations. If you look at the second quarter earnings in, a in April and May, companies basically did not actually give any indication, guidance on their revenues or on their profit margins. And I'm, you know, the July numbers will be really interesting to see what really comes out. Um, there is a bit of euphoria in the market because of this liquidity supply, and it, it has been quite global. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see how it goes forward. Thank you, Meena. Nice to hear the use of the word euphoria, both by speakers from, from the Indian capital market as well as UK. A quick question there, Meena, when you say the sentiments is driving the current valuations, and given that the valuations have come back significantly from where it was after a 10-day drop of about 35%, will I be right or will the audience be right to think the sentiment of investors is more positive despite the grim situation we're facing currently? Uh, the sentiment of investors is more driven by a phrase called Tina, which basically means there is no other alternative. There is no alternative. So at the moment, because cash is basically zero, cash is a negative real investment. So keeping your money in your mattress is a guarantee for you to lose money in real terms in the West. Unless we all become Japan, you know, cash is is not going to make any money. And therefore, investors have decided to buy risk. And as long as the central banks have written a put on risk by buying credit, which is speculative, basically the money, it's like a cascade. It's like a waterfall. It basically keeps going down the risk spectrum. And that's effectively what's happened. So the markets go up when they see that the cases are all you know, plateauing, when the cases start increasing. OK, let's take some off. It is quite speculative, the market. It does not feel like an investment market. All right, thank you very much for that. Uh, moving on to uh, Bissar Lakshi. So she, if you can, India, what is the impact of the coronavirus? There's a lot of uh, ambiguity on if somebody owns a property in India, uh, government advice from the, should they be, should the tenant still be paying the rent or as the government said, the rents does not have to be paid. UK, there is clarity. The tenants have been asked to pay the rent. Landlords have been asked to, 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 to be more adjusting and accommodating. So later, installments, but there are mis misguiding information on the fact that the Indian government have said, number one, the rent take cut of and India. So what, what is the impact in India also on the property market, uh, Visalakshi? All of us will appreciate this pandemic has put the brakes on all economies. India is no exception. However, on a positive note, India being a bigger market and a developing economy, it is expected to recover faster than most countries. The government of India has announced 20 lakh crore stimulus packages, which largely constitutes liquidity measures, including deferrals and immediate financial assistance to the lower strata. Coming to the rental perspective, earlier there were representations to the Supreme Court to defer rents, 
this was in the case even for salary being paid now supreme court has cleared everything it says it is left to you left to the landlord if he can be accommodative he can go on a zero rent or a 50% reduction it is purely dependent on the landlord there's no uh, there's no hard and fast rules laid even for the employer it is based like that salary it is they are wish to pay or if they are okay with not paying it is they are wish okay uh, thank you thank you mr lakshmi thank you for your inputs from an indian perspective uh, at this stage we are already about 10 minutes behind schedule so i'm going to try and uh, make a move on so that we cover all all topics so uh, next i'm going to ask uh, palmi appan to come in and share his views this time on how nagaratars have invested in shares all along and what are we currently doing with respect to investment in shares so i will call upon palni appan to, to to share his views on sure sek appan the finance abdingirathu namma nagarathaarude swasa kaatru namma rathathoda kalanda onnu ichi namma ayya kalla pathinga na thiraigadal odiyum thiraviyam thedunu ungala mari ellarum velinaatukku poi sambarikka ponuvanga avanga vandu laabatha mattum irakkamadi padala opportunities eyum irakkamadi senjaanga avanga vandu appa சிங்கப்பூர் மலேசியா போன்ற நகரத்தார்கள் வந்து அங்க போய் யூகே பேஸ்ட் ஸ்டாக்ஸ சிங்கப்பூர்ல ட்ரேட் ஆனதுல முதலீடு வந்து ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி ஐம்பது அந்த பீரியட்ல இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ண ஆரம்பிச்சாங்க அப்பதான் வந்து இந்தியாலயும் வந்து பார்சிஸ் அண்ட் குஜராத்திஸ் இவங்க எல்லாம் வந்து பங்கு வர்த்தகம் அப்படிங்கறதெல்லாம் ஆரம்பிச்ச பீரியட் அப்ப அந்த பீரியட் நம்ம ஐயாக்கள் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா அந்த காலத்திலே வந்து என்னன்னா மணி ஷூட் மேக் மணி ஃபார் யூ அப்படின்னு சொன்னவங்க இன்னைக்கு வந்து ராபர்ட் கியோசக்கி எல்லாம் சொல்றாரு அதெல்லாம் இன்னைக்கு ஐயாக்கள் எழுதி வைக்கல அதனால நமக்கு எல்லாம் தெரியல அவ்வளவுதான் விஷயம் பவர் ஆஃப் காம்பவுண்டிங் பட்டிக்கு வந்து சனி ஞாயிறு லீவு கிடையாது தீபாவளி பொங்கல் கிடையாதுங்கிறது அவங்க அன்றைக்கு அவங்க எல்லாம் கண்டுபிடிச்சு டூயிங் தர் பிசினஸ் பங்கு சந்தையும் பார்க்க போனீங்கன்னா அவங்க வந்து இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ்ல முதலீடு பண்ணதுல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா Uh, they foresee for long period not for short period ipalla pathinga emotion naaluk naal kattu kodukka mudiyala avara avara kattu kattu kodukka mudiyala avanga identify panni vecha scripts vandu sila idu na kuripittirukenga medaval itc hindustan unilever ponds group pond colgate dasco castrol indha mari pangu ella vaangranga indha pangu ella pathinga na innaikum marketene endrum 16 innaikum hindustan unilever is one of the fancy stock Nestle is one of the fancy stock. இது வந்து இந்த பெஞ்சமின் கிரஹாம் மாடல் அவங்களோட வேல்யூ பை அப்படிங்கறது இல்லாம இந்த ஹிந்துஸ்தானில இவரோட பி வேல்யூவேஷன் பாத்தீங்கன்னா 80 அப்படிங்கற பி ரேஷியோல இன்னைக்கும் ட்ரேட் ஆகிட்டு இருக்கு. This is one of the still the covid க்கு அப்புறம் ஒரு one of the FMCG is one of the first recovered stock. கிட்டத்தட்ட 1600 ரூபாய் வந்துட்டு 2600 ரூபாய் போன ஸ்டாக் ஹிந்துஸ்தானில இவர ஒண்ணு அதே மாதிரி பதிமூவாயிரம் வந்த நெஸ்லே வந்து இன்னைக்கும் பதினெட்டாயிரம் பதினேழாயிரம் பதினெட்டாயிரம் லெட்டர் ஆகிட்டு இருக்கு வித் ஹை பி ரேஷியோல ஓகே அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி எண்பது அப்பதான் வந்து பங்கு சந்தை பாம்பே பங்கு சந்தை மெட்ராஸ் பங்கு சந்தை எல்லாம் உருவான பீரியட் பின்னர் வந்து ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி ஐம்பத்தி ஆறு ஐம்பத்தி ஏழுல வந்து அங்கீகரிக்கப்பட்டது இந்திய அரசால அதுக்கப்புறம் அதுக்கு இடப்பட்ட காலத்துல பாத்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம வெள்ளாடு அழகு செட்டியார் எல்லாம் நிறைய ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட்ல பண்ணதும் நம்ம நகரத்தார் மத்தியில ரொம்ப பாப்புலர் ஆக ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கு அதுக்கப்புறம் ஏஎம்எம் குரூப் வந்து மெட்ரா ஸ்டாக் எக்ஸேஞ்ச்ல பிரசிடென்டா இருந்தாங்க சோ அந்த பாப்புலாரிட்டி வித் அவர் கம்யூனிட்டி ஸ்டார்ட் ஜஸ்ட் லைக் டெஸ்டிங் ஓன்லி அதுக்கப்புறம் மார்க்கெட் இண்டெக் அதாவது எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் நிறுவப்பட்டதுக்கு அப்புறம் பப்ளிக் ரிலேஷன்ஸ் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் எல்லாம் உருவானதுக்கு அப்புறம் தான் வந்து எமோஷனை கட்டுப்படுத்த முடியாத காரணத்தினால நம்ம நகரத்தார்கள் அசையும் சொத்துல இருந்து அசையா சொத்துக்கு வந்து மாறினாங்க கிட்டத்தட்ட ஸ்டாக்ஸ்ல இருந்து அவங்க வந்து கமர்ஷியல் ப்ராப்பர்டிஸ் அண்ட் எஸ்டேட்ஸ் இப்ப எஸ்டேட்ஸ் பாத்தீங்கன்னா அதுலயும் ரிஸ்க் இருக்கு கடந்த ரெண்டு வருஷமா எக்ஸசிவ் ரெயின்ஃபால் அதுவும் குறிப்பிட்ட ஒன் ஆர் டூ டேஸ்ல கமர்ஷியல் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி பாத்தீங்கன்னா கோவிட்க்கு அப்புறம் ஐ திங்க் ஈல்டு மேக் கம் டவுன் ஆஃப் நோ ஆறு டு ஏழு பர்சன்ட் ஈல்டு கிடைக்கும் அது இன்னமும் குறையுங்கிறது என்னோட அபிப்பிராயம் So, next slide வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம நம்ம சந்ததியினருக்கு என்னத்தை விட்டுட்டு போக போறோம் அப்படிங்கறத நான் பிளாங்க விட்டு இருக்கேன் ஐ வாண்ட் யூ ஆல் டு திங்க் சோ சிந்திப்பீங்க நினைக்கிறேன் மூட்டு சாதப்பன் சேகப்பன் uh thank you just to sort of be clear other one the we it was not it was not a blank side or a technical problem intentionally left blank in the clarify panirkeenga 
We are continuing with Palni Appen. This time, we are looking to ask you more in terms of the actual investment in capital markets. As NRAs, now we are doing. What is the situation with the Indian capital market? So, so, so over to you again, just for us, for you to talk us through the investment options within the Indian stock market. Yeah. See, this is one thing. This pinnaadi one thing. After that, we have to believe in us. All the room price. Like that. One. சி ஒரு சின்ன கதையோட நான் ஆரம்பிக்க விரும்புறேன் ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய பணக்காரர் வந்து அவரோட நாய்க்குட்டியை கூட்டிட்டு வாக்கிங் போயிட்டு இருக்காரு அப்ப வந்து ஒரு தெருநாய் வந்து இடைஞ்சல் செய்து இவர் வந்து இவரோட நாயை அவுத்து விட்டுட்டு அதை பிடிச்சிட்டு வான்னு ஆர்டர் கொடுக்கிறாரு அந்த ரொம்ப தூரம் ஓடி போயும் அந்த நாயினால திருநாயை பிடிக்க முடியல திரும்ப வெறுங்கையோட வந்து என்னால பிடிக்க முடியல ஐயா அப்படிங்குறது ஆஹ் இவர் வந்து நான் உடனே எப்படி எல்லாம் வளர்த்திருக்கேன் அப்படின்லாம் சொல்லி கட்டுறாரு அதுக்கு அந்த நாய் சொல்லுது அந்த திருநாய் வந்து அதோட உயிரை காப்பாற்றிக்கிறதுக்காக ஓடுது நான் வந்து உங்க மேல உள்ள விசுவாசத்தினால உங்க ஆணைக்கு கட்டுப்பட்டு போனேன் சோ அப்படிங்குது சோ நம்ம என்ன செய்யணும்னாலும் நம்ம பேஷனோட செய்யணும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் யூர் ஐடென்டிஃபை யுவர் பேஷன் வாட் இஸ் யுவர் பேஷன் டூ வித் யுவர் பேஷன் தென் ஓன்லி யூ கேன் பி சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் திஸ் இஸ் தேர்ட் த வார் அண்ட் பஃபே யூ சு சே தட் ஃபைண்ட் ஐ ஃபவுண்ட் மை பேஷன் டிட் யூ ஃபைண்ட் யுவர் பேஷன் ஹி ஆஸ் தட் மூவ் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் லைஃப் நான் வந்து இன்வெஸ்டர் எஜுகேஷனுக்கு நிறைய இடத்துக்கு போறேன் என் சிபிஎஸ்இட எல்லாம் சேர்ந்து அப்ப நான் எல்லாரையுமே நான் கேட்கிற கேள்வி வந்து ஏன் பங்கு சந்தைகள் முதலீடு செய்யணும் அப்படின்னு கேட்பேன் அப்ப சில பேர் என்ன சொல்றாங்கன்னா எனக்கு வந்து பன்னெண்டு சதவீதம் கிடைக்குது ஒருத்தர் வந்து இருபது சதவீதம் கிடைக்குது ஒருத்தர் முப்பத்தாறு சதவீதம் கிடைக்குது ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எடுத்துக்கோங்க கோயம்புத்தூர்ல என்னோட நண்பர்கள் எல்லாம் ஹேர் பச்சேஸ் நிறைய பேர் செய்யறாங்க அவங்களோட ஐஆர்ஆர் வந்து இருபத்தி எட்டு டு முப்பத்தி ரெண்டுங்கிறாங்க அப்ப நான் ஏன் பங்கு சந்தைக்கு வரணும் இது ஒரு கேள்வி பங்கு சந்தையில ரிஸ்க் இருக்கு நான் இப்ப ஹையர் பர்ச்சேஸ் பண்ணல ரிஸ்க் இல்லாங்க அதாவது கம்மி அதாவது ஐ மீன் செய்த ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட்டை விட கம்மி ஆஃப் கமிங் டு ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட் இஸ் டு மல்டிப்ளை யுவர் மணி செவரல் ஃபோல்ட் ஓவர் இயர்ஸ் த இயர்ஸ் கேன் பி சே செவன் இயர் டு டுவெல் இயர் பீரியட் ஐ சே லாங் டர்ம் இன்வெஸ்டிங் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எடுத்துக்கோங்க நம்ம ஐயாக்கள் வாங்கின ஸ்கிரிப்ட்ஸ்ல மெக்டவல் நான் குறிப்பிட்டுருக்கேன் அந்த மெக்டவல் மட்டும் கடந்த பதினைந்து ஆண்டுகள்ல ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் ரிட்டர்ன் கொடுத்துருக்கு திஸ் இஸ் ரெக்கார்ட் யூ கேன் ஒன் கிராஸ் செக் இட் ஓகே அதோட சிஏஜிஆர் காம்பவுண்டட் ஆனுவல் க்ரோத் ரேட் பாத்தீங்கன்னா இது வேற எந்த வேற எந்த பிசினஸ்லயும் கிடைக்காது ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட்டை பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் வாட் யூ ஆர் பெயிண்ட் கிவ் இஸ் நாட் ஈக்வல் டு தேஷன் நாட் ஈக்வல் Value, that is, you have to buy when the value is much, price is much lower than the value. You have to sell when the price is much higher than the value. You have to sell when the price is much higher than the value. That's the market. Okay? If you buy the right stock, there is no time to sell. Just you can hold it. Next slide, Pongla. See, the stock market is risky. Why it is risky? See, இப்ப ஜெனரலா வாழ்க்கையில வந்து ஒரு பெசிமிஸ்டிக்கும் ஒரு ஆப்டிமிஸ்டிக்கும் பேசுனாங்கன்னா ஒரு அரை மணி நேரம் பேசுறாங்க ஒரு கால் மணி நேரம் பேசினாலே சண்டை வந்துடும் பட் ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட்ல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு பெசிமிஸ்டிக்கும் ஒரு ஆப்டிமிஸ்டிக்கும் தே கெட் டுகெதர் டு எண்ட் அப் இன் ட்ரேட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒரு பெசிமிஸ்டிக் வந்து ஒரு ஷேரை விக்கிறாருன்னா விலை இறங்குன்னு தான் விற்கிறாரு ஒரு ஆப்டிமிஸ்டிக் வந்து ஷேரை வாங்கிறாருன்னா விலை ஏறுன்னு தான் வாங்குறாரு இதுக்கான பதில் வந்து ஒன்லி டைம் கேன் ஆன்சர் தட் இது வந்து கிட்டத்தட்ட கயத்துல நடக்கிற மாதிரி தான் இப்ப பக்கத்துல வந்து பாருங்க ஒருத்தர் வந்து சுமைய வந்து தூக்க முடியாம தூக்கி சுமந்துகிட்டு இருக்காரு இது என்ன மீனிங்னா த லிவரேஜ் ஃபண்ட் சுட் நாட் கெட் இன் டு ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட் வரன் பஃபே தேர்ட்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் யுவர் இன்கம் சுட் பி யுவர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பென்சர் சுட் பி யுவர் சேவிங்ஸ் So, it should be in a planned and systematic way. So, shall we move to the next slide? See, in the case of the risk market, there is an over-information. In the first place, the information is correct. In the first place, we are going to browse the browsing center. We are going to get the information in the first place. பேலன்ஸ் ஷீட் கிடைக்காது இதுக்காக ஒவ்வொரு ஷேர் வாங்கி வச்சாதான் பேலன்ஸ் ஷீட் வரும் இப்ப அப்படி எல்லாம் கிடையாது எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் அவைலபிள் அட் ஃப்ரீ ஆஃப் காஸ்ட் நோ நீட் டு ஸ்பெண்ட் ஈவன் அ சிங்கிள் ருபி பட் அந்த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் டூ மச் ஆஃப் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் லாட் ஆஃப் ஒர்க்கிங் ஹவுசஸ் 
most of the top broking houses are having research reports they are sending a free of cost ortar vaangum maar ortar vikkum maar edha vachu mudi vidupinga this is the major risk innona you might be building a position we all know he is the very popular hero among us he may tweet it in one midnight next day morning stock market will open up with a cap down opening of 5 to 5% so we have to be very careful and we have to control our emotion when it comes to market uh, next slide second one the uh, in cousin meena kuda sonanga what is driving the market na inna kitta market la vande this is not fundamentals uh, only the liquidity is driving the market uh, so huge when people are sitting in home there is no other alternative way they want always people want to stay positive they want to do something and make money so they are diverting the funds towards equity market and then they feel that the valuations are much cheaper and then they want to hedge it so when it goes up also they want to book the profit and then they want they are ready for the next bear market like that so it's a sort of trading sort of thing so because of the liquidity the market is agitating next slide please ஒரு கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு பத்து கண்ட்ரியோட இண்டெக்ஸ் வந்து நான் கம்பேர் பண்ணேன் அதோட கோல்ட் ரைஸ் கம்பேர் பண்ணிருக்கேன் இண்டெக்ஸோட பி ரேஷியோ பாத்தீங்கன்னா முப்பத்தி ஏழு புள்ளி ஆறு அப்படிங்கிற அளவுல இருக்கு ஜென்ரலா ஒரு இன்வெஸ்டர் அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா பதினாறுல வாங்கலாம் இருபத்தி அஞ்சு இருபத்தி ஆறுங்கிறது ஹையர் வேல்யூவேஷன் அப்படிங்கிற பீரியட் இப்ப வந்து இந்த நேஷ்டாக்கோட வேல்யூவேஷன் இவ்வளவு கூட இருக்கிறதுக்கு காரணம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா பேஸ்புக் apple amazon netflix google so these are all that is a country the future is very bright so that is the reason the rating is also much higher here on the graham model workala warren buffet school of thought workala see the bovespa next market latin america la bovespa is at 31.5 s&p 500 is at 21 average indian nifty vandu aa pona maasam pakkala 21 ipo as on date is 25 பி ரேஷியோல இருக்கு யூகே மார்க்கெட் பாத்தீங்கன்னா Uh, indian market nu pathinga nifty has given a return of minus 15 percentage 15.87 in one year at the same time gold has given a return of 30.92 silver has given given a return of 21.5 percentage gold always go goes contra to the stock market okay five year return i compare panni edutha nasdaq vandu pathinga five year la vandu 46 percent kuduthirukku bovespa 39 kuduthirukku indian market nifty has given 12 percent landa uk stock market has given minus 9 percentage return gold has given 45 percent return okay five years la cagr nu pathinga na five year potrukken 10 year potrukken 20 year potrukken see indian stock market in the last 20 years has given a cagr of 10 percentage return so the ups and downs are there in, in between that okay so long term angle indian market is one of the rewarding market there is no doubt there is a here there is a record with you in front of you at the same time the gold has given a cagr of 9.44 percent dayavu seidu aachi maar ella thangathula thaangano naanga na vaangi kudukenga there is here we have a proven record okay at the same time silver has given a return of 6 percentage so in the record a paathadukapra inima thangathula podradhu yaarum undu waste nu solla maatanga na nenikiren நெக்ஸ்ட் லைட் போவோமே சி ஜிடிபி பாத்தீங்கன்னா நான் வந்து உலக ஜிடிபியும் கம்பேர் பண்ணிருக்கேன் இந்தியாவே பாத்துருக்கேன் இதுல கிறிஸ்பா நான் இந்தியாவையும் யூகேயும் மட்டும் சொல்றேன் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ரெண்டு ஜிடிபியுமே ஈக்குவல் கிட்டத்தட்ட பட் இந்தியா இஸ் இந்த பிப்த் பொசிஷன் ரெண்டு லட்சம் கோடி இன் ரூபாய் மதிப்புலையும் இன் டாலர் டம்ஸ்ல டூ பாயிண்ட் நைன் ஃபோர் ட்ரில்லியன் டாலர்ஸ் இந்தியன் ஜிடிபி யூகே வந்து டூ பாயிண்ட் செவன் ஃபோர் இந்தியா இஸ் இந்த பிப்த் பொசிஷன் UK is in the 7th position if i'm correct nama debt equity ratio pathinga na nammoda sorry debt to gdp ratio pathinga na india vande 16% debt irukku out of the gdp uk vande 79.1% debt irukku uh, but uk is a developed economy india there is a growth india vande 
எங்க ஐயா காலத்துல இருந்து என் பையன் காலம் முடியவே டெவலப்பிங் எக்கானமி தான் அட்லீஸ்ட் பேரண்ட் பிள்ளைங்களாவது வந்து டெவலப்ட்னு சொல்லுவாங்களாங்கிறது ஒரு பெரிய கேள்விக்குறி பட் ஸ்டில் இன்னும் டெவலப் ஆகணும்னு வி ஹேவ் டு மே பி இன் பிஷன் டு பாரோ மோர் டெட் ஓகே பட் அட் தி சேம் டைம் இங்க வந்து யுஎஸ் ஓட டெட் வந்து 105 परसेंटेज இன் நோட் டவுன் இஸ் 105 डेट दे हैव चलिए मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड டீ இந்தியா ஜிடிபி வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா இது வந்து ஒரு யானை நம்ம சொக்கலிங்க மண்ணே சொன்னாங்க நம்ம 1.2% ஜிடிபி வரும்னு இப்ப முந்தா நாள் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் அண்ட் பூர் வந்து தே பிரெடிக்டட் அவர் இந்தியன் ஜிடிபி மே கோ டவுன் டு 5% மைனஸ் 5% சோ யானை உட்கார்ந்தா எந்திரிக்கிறது எப்பன்னு தெரியாது லெட் us see that next slide please next slide இதுல வந்து எப்படின்னா இப்ப மோஸ்ட்லி நம்ம ஆடியன்ஸ் டீம் மெம்பர்ஸ் எல்லாருமே சன் ஆஃப் த சாயில் இந்தியா தான் நீங்க எல்லாம் உங்களுக்கு எல்லாம் நல்லா தெரியும் இந்தியா இஸ் அ புவர் கண்ட்ரி பட் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த இந்தியன்ஸ் ஆர் ரிச்சர் திஸ் இஸ் ஓகே அதாவது எக்ஸாம்பிள் எடுத்துக்கோங்க நீங்க இந்தியாவோட தங்கத்தோட ஹோல்டிங் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா கிட்டத்தட்ட ஐநூத்தி ஐம்பது டன் கிட்ட இந்தியா கவர்மெண்ட் ஹோல்டிங் நம்ம மக்கள் கிட்ட அறுபதாயிரம் டன் கோல்ட் இருக்கு பட் ஸ்டில் வி ஆர் அ புவர் கண்ட்ரி Uh, this uh, rating agencies all investment grade kila triple b minus la da invest uh, grading panirukanga uh, they are given outlook to negative but uh, this is common this pandemic is for everybody it's not only for india i am sure that india will come out of the situation uh, people are people have earned up money in or 20 years india or liquidity and the problem varadu makkal ta pana iruk country ta pana illatiyum abingiradhu enoda avipray கருப்பு பணத்தை ஒழிக்கிறேன் once the pandemic lockdown is open open aanadukku appra pathinga na nama 21 22 la nama 7.4 sadavidam nama poom therpaaga padirudhu so god only knows let us hope for the best next one ah idhum paathidom next slide poyam varum ya ipo sekapan ungaloda kelvi ki varren neenga nri ku see still ipo neenga ellame vandu son of the soil india இப்ப நேத்து வந்து ரெண்டு மூணு நாளைக்கு முன்னாடி பாத்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம அமெரிக்கன் பிரசிடென்ட் வந்து கிரீன் கார்டையும் கேன்சல் பண்ண போறேன் ஹெச் ஒன் பி வி ரிலீஸ் ஆகுடா அப்படின்னு சொல்லிருக்காங்க இது எந்த அளவுக்கு சாத்தியம்னு தெரியல இப்ப இருபத்தஞ்சு வருஷம் முன்னாடி நம்ம எல்லாம் பேசிட்டு இருந்தோம் இப்ப வந்து வி ஆர் இன் டி குளோபல் சுச்சுவேஷன் எல்லாருமே இம்போர்ட்டையும் எக்ஸ்போர்ட்டையும் பேன் பண்றாங்க அவங்க அவங்க தனித்தனியே பண்ணிக்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறாங்க இப்ப இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு சுச்சுவேஷன் வந்துச்சுன்னா நீங்க என்ன எங்க போட்டீங்க யூ ஹேவ் டு கம் பேக் டு ஒன்லி இந்தியா வியட்நாம மறந்துடக்கூடாது பர்மால நடந்ததை மறந்துடக்கூடாது ஸ்ரீலங்கால நடந்த குடும்பல நடந்த மறந்துடக்கூடாது நம்ம நகரத்தார் எல்லாம் எல்லாத்தையும் விட்டுட்டு தான் இங்க வந்தாங்க சோ மை ரெக்வஸ்ட் இஸ் கீப் யுவர் இம்மூவபிள் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி இன் இந்தியா அண்ட் கீப் யுவர் மூவபிள் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி வேற வேர் தர் இஸ் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி மூட்டு நெக்ஸ்ட் லைக் நீங்க வந்து ஒரு பெரிய ஒரு ஃபண்டா கொண்டு வரணும் பெரிய லெவல்ல கொண்டு வரணும்னு நினைச்சீங்கன்னா ஃபாரின் போர்ட்போலியோ இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் எஃபிஐ அப்படிங்கறதுல கொண்டு வந்திருக்கலாம் கொண்டு வரலாம் இதுல மை கசின் மீனா இஸ் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் இன் தட் ஷி கேன் இஃப் யூ அப்ரோச் ஹர் ஷி கேன் மேக் யூ டு பிரிங் ஃபண்ட்ஸ் த்ரூ மொரிஷியஸ் டு இந்தியா சோ தட் இஸ் ஈஸி வே எஃப்டிஐ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு டூ பிசினஸ் இன் இந்தியா யூ கம் த்ரூ எஃப்டிஐ ரூட் ஓகே நான் ஸ்டாக் மார்க்கெட்ல ஒரு சின்ன லெவல்ல தான் பண்ண போறேன் பெருசா பண்ணல அப்படி நீங்க நினைச்சீங்கன்னா பின்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த ரூட் போர்ட்போலியோ இன்வெஸ்ட் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஸ்கீம்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் லைக் பிளீஸ் இந்த பின்ஸ் வந்து இந்த மூணு பேங்க் தான் பெசிலிட்டி கொடுக்குறாங்க ஹெச்டிஎஃப்சி பேங்க் ஆக்சிஸ் பேங்க் அண்ட் ஐசிஐசி பேங்க் திஸ் பின்ஸ்ங்கிறது போர்ட்போலியோ இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஸ்கீம்ஸ்ங்கிறது ஆர்பிஐல பர்மிஷன் வாங்கணும் இது வாங்குறதுக்கு கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு பதினஞ்சு நாட்கள் ஒன்ஸ் த கேஒய்சி டாக்குமெண்டேஷன் எல்லாம் முடிஞ்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் பிப்டீன் ஒர்க்கிங் டேஸ் குள்ள இது முடிஞ்சிடும் இது முடிஞ்சிருச்சுன்னா இதுக்கு முன்னாடி என்ன வேணும்னா என்ஆர்இ அக்கௌண்ட் அண்ட் என்ஆர்ஓ அக்கௌண்ட் இருக்கணும் அந்த பேங்க்ல இருந்துச்சுன்னா இது பண்ணிடலாம் இது பண்ணியாச்சுன்னா யூ கேன் அப்ரோச் லைக் மீ 
you can open a demat account and trading account you can transfer the funds to any one of this account through this route you can buy see india is one of the highly what is that developed market and highly complete market uh, technology wise and india is nowhere less than any of your uh, market okay t plus 2 is the settlement we are following it inge vandu pathinga na inge domestic investors vandu they can buy and sell in intraday as a nris you cannot do buy and sell at the same day at the same time ninga oru script vaangalum na adu vandu allowable limit la irukkaan check panni tha vaanga mudiyum for example ninga ipo hdfc bank vaangalum na vaanga mudiyadhu ena adu vandu some there is a cap in the limit rbi is fixing that so based on this you are always welcome to india india is your uh, compound uh, india welcomes you all next slide please இப்ப சொக்கலிங்கம் கேட்டாங்க தங்கத்தை பத்தியும் சொல்லுங்க அப்படின்னு தங்கத்துல வந்து பிசிக்கல் கோல்டு வாங்கலாம் அதை வந்து நான் சொல்லவே வேண்டாம் நம்ம ஆட்சிமார்கள் எல்லாருக்கும் நல்லா தெரியும் நீங்க எல்லாம் துபாய் வெளியில அங்கே டிரான்சிட்ல பிரேக் பண்ணி அங்கே வாங்கிட்டு வந்துருவீங்க சொல்ல போனா பத்து சதவீதம் இந்தியாவோட சீப்பாவே நீங்க அங்க வாங்கலாம் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் ட்ரேடட் ஃபண்ட் கோல்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு அஞ்சு ஆறு ஃபண்ட் இங்க இருக்கு But ETF வந்து எஸ்டிடி கிடையாது பட் ஆனா இடிஎஃப் ஓன் கோ பேரலல் டு தி கோல்ட் ரேட் சோ மை அட்வைஸ் இஸ் ஐ சஜஸ்ட் ஆர்பிஐ கோல்ட் பாண்ட் இது வந்து என்னன்னா நீங்க 7 ವರ್ಷத்துக்கு இந்த ஃபண்ட் இஸ் லாக்ட் இன் இதுல வந்து இன்னொரு ஒரு அட்வான்டேஜ் பாத்தீங்கன்னா 2.5% இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் யூ will be getting it you can hedge the gold price 7th year கட்டாம உங்களுக்கு பணம் திரும்ப வந்துரும் யூ எக்ஸிட் ரூட் வந்து 3rd year க்கு அப்புறம் you can sell it if you want ஆட்சிகளையும் இருக்குது பட் எஸ் வெரி வெரி வேலட் பாயிண்ட் நீங்க சொல்றத வச்சு பார்த்தா நகரத்தார்ஸ் வந்து ரொம்ப நாளாவே தே ஹவ் வெரி வெரி கேல்குலேட்டடாவே இத வந்து தே பீன் இன்வெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் ஆர் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் ஹிஸ்டாரிகலி ஹவ் பீன் வெரி சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் அப்படின்றது தெரியுது again for time constraints we are going quite behind schedule uh, i'll ask dr meena to give in a uk and a global market perspective please um so i'll start off on what parni up and left off with okay so today we we are living in a post covid world and there's something fundamental that has changed we are truly in an inflection point uh and not just in our attitude of our daily lives but also on the investment landscape and i will focus purely on the investment landscape so if you look at post financial crisis we had a huge socialization of debt what that meant was the banking system basically collapsed in the developed world the governments took on all the debt on their balance sheet now the way they spent the next 10 years addressing that was basically austerity and that was basically less investment government investment and so forth and you saw an environment in which financial assets went up it created a lot of income inequality between people who had financial assets they became richer the people who actually worked they actually did not benefit from this boom in fact real incomes for most people actually stayed stagnant and this is not just from the uk context but this is across the world this happened and effectively where we are an inflation because we spoke a lot about gold and given that we are all chettiers and we love gold i should spend a bit of time on gold gold you know during that 10 year period it went up but it also came down so over the whole 10 year period if you held gold from 2008 to you know 2020 early 2020 you probably made a little bit of money as opposed to not a lot okay and inflation was very benign today we are in a very very strange world and i'll be very very quick i know we've uh, already had one and a half hours of your time we are in an environment where we are in a supply shock and a demand shock which basically means that globalization which basically improved the life of millions of people around the world is in a bit of a retreat so supply chains need to come back in um and therefore what that means is you're going to have price increases of some sort and this is in an environment when cash doesn't give you anything as i mentioned previously cash is a negative real asset 
So in this environment of the ugly currencies of the world, which is the least ugly currency, it is gold. So gold today definitely does have a bit of a shine from a portfolio construction perspective. But you know, be aware that gold is an incredibly volatile asset. If, let's say, the US uh, Treasury yields start going up, we could see a pullback. So it is not without risk, but it is definitely got its luster back in today's world. The second thing about the post-COVID world is, you know, the governments have again leveraged up because, you know, they've had to, you know, balance the economy during this very artificial lockdown. Now, one thing they have all said is that they're not going to go back to the old austerity environment. So we are going to see government investment. We are going to see investment in healthcare. We are going to see investment in infrastructure, particularly broadband. Look, you know, work from home. This has been brilliant, you know, for a lot of us, not having to get on public transport, be stuffed with a lot of millions of very stinking people. You know, this is a change in one's lifestyle. So these kind of things can only work if we have the infrastructure to be able to do that. And this is where the governments are going to spend the money. So your investment portfolio is also going to be different in this environment. And that has to be taken into account. The second thing that has to be taken into account is how the different economies emerge from this lockdown, emerge from this you know, unbelievable shock that we've had. And very clearly, as the previous speaker, the first speaker actually in his slide showed, you know, China seems to have done slightly better, you know, although that was the country that basically released this virus into the world, they did a very severe lockdown. 60% of their GDP was closed in February. Rest of the world, you know, we were going out, we were like partying, blah, blah, blah stuff. Whereas China, boom, shut 60% off. But then, you know, they never ever had a scenario where they had 100% of the economy that was shut. So effectively, China is in a much better place. But again, the rest of the world's impact or view of China is a bit different today. So there will be changes. There will, you know, it, it will become a bipolar world. You know, seeing the world from purely an American angle, the superpower America, we have to think of it in a bit more multipolar world. And, you know, that's the um, thing that I would raise. And portfolio construction is very, very key in this environment. So it's not like blanket by everything. It is be selective, you know, be very cognizant of how you're going to buy. So that's the first point I'd make on the investment side. The second thing I'll make is taxation. Now taxes at the moment, I don't think there are gonna be many governments which are going to put taxes up, but effectively the governments all over the world are hugely leveraged. And the only way they can you know, bring their debt down, if it's not going to be through austerity, it is going to be through taxation. So there will be potentially an increase in taxes and governments are very innovative about how they tax people. So I would definitely encourage you know, for you to look at wherever you are, whichever jurisdiction you are, to look at the tax wrappers that's available for you to make those investment decisions. But don't let tax drive your investment. It should not be, you know, saving tax and losing money is not a good investment, okay? So make the good investment, make sure it is done in a tax efficient way. That's the key point. In the UK, some examples of tax wrappers are individual savings accounts. There are different versions of it. Uh, very creatively, the governments always keep tinkering with these things, but it is the most efficient tax of way of saving money. The next one is the self-invested pension schemes. Again, you know, very, very useful tools, but again, the governments are trying to crank on that and reduce it. So, and then there's the offshore bonds, there is VCTs and so forth. So it is very important that you actually look at, you know, the different avenues in which you can invest through these tax wrappers. I think I just saw a question that came up actually on active versus passive, and I'll address that when I'm talking right now. Um, my personal view is, you know, finance is a fantastic area, but it's always been opaque with costs. Now, if you look at what's happened in the last 10 years that I've been working in private client land is regulation has actually helped little investors. 
the opacity has re been removed a bit, you can know the costs that you're investing. So the cheapest way to invest is through a passive product. However, don't do this blindly. The US market is incredibly efficient. So if you're going to just go away, you know, you're going to go to a desert island. Yes, buying the S&P, America innovates, it has good companies, S&P 500. The information inefficiency is a lot less than say when you're investing in China, even the UK for instance, you know. So you've got to be very selective of your passive investment choices where you're going. The same thing that goes for India as well. You know, if you want to buy an Indian passive product, you know, the top stock is going to be Reliance followed by Tata Consultancy and so forth. So it's not necessarily going to give you the actual growth stock. So you've got to be selective and, you know, it, it is, um, it, it, it can't be a blind choice, effectively. All right. Uh, thank you, Dr. Mir. Thank you. Thank you for your insights into this. Uh, quickly, if you can just touch upon what the, the tax efficiency of a pension, which probably uh, is not as, as, as popular as it should be, perhaps, where, where, where it can be effectively, of course, the caveat being on the pension report, Akasa, we cannot take it till our, till our retirement age, which currently is 55, can increase with time. But, but the input portal of cash, unlike any other investments, whatever we invest into a pension, we get a tax back. So, so are there plenty of options for us to put the for us to invest the money into a pension into the different options you've given us? Absolutely. And you're absolutely right. You can save in a pension is the only one where you can say gross of tax. And if you believe that your investment is going to go, grow through time, you'll basically be making more money in your pension. And when you retire, your in tax level will be lower, I'm hoping. And therefore you can do a tax arbitrage effectively. You can do a tax management in that way. And this is a bit different to what the Australians do. The Australian superannuation, you pay the tax, you save the money. When you get your money out in the end, you don't pay any tax. In the UK, it's actually very tax efficient. If you believe that long-term your investment is going to grow, you should use up all your pension allowance, yes. Thank you. Because, uh, because, I mean, using pension creatively, there are situations where people have saved up to 60% tax. So, if only around 100,000 pounds per year, from 100 to about 120,000 pounds, their effective rate of tax is about 40% as standard. And also on the stage, we lose the personal allowance as well. So, where somebody is at 120,000 pounds per year, it's often said if they can cleverly invest into a pension, they can get a 60% tax rebate and, 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 and make it much more efficient. So if you're not using pensions as wisely, there are two things. Pensions, again, are employer benefits. So your employers will deduct pension and, and that can be a separate pension. But as individuals, we can also invest into a private pension and that private pension one can be very tax efficient. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mina, for that. We'll, uh, of course, we are going incredibly slow on time, so we'll try and make up uh, time where possible. So I again, call upon uh, Palmi Appen to talk to us about having decided uh, to invest in the India markets. Are the pretty panla? So first of all, you told us about wh uh, why we should do it. Now, if you tell us about how we can do it, uh, that will be that will be very helpful to us. Yeah, sure. Sek Appen. See, modalla or companies for share la wangra nu mudi pannidu nanachana management we have to identify the management and we have to check how they are see it's like a partnership how they, will they share the profit with us that is the first first question we should ask them okay so there are good companies managed by uh, good companies managed by good management good management and bad companies uh, bad business so we have to identify the good management and good business then only we get the valuations so we should be better in the first part. Okay. Shall we move to the second one? Next slide. Yeah. See, after management partner, top down approach and bottom up approach. If you are in the UK, you are in India, you are in the US. First of all, in the US market is very good. And uh, for example, US economy is doing good. You can look into the sector in the top down approach. Okay. In the sector, software related services are doing good. See, for example, Google, you can identify the company. 
So this is the way you have to identify through this top-down approach. But in the idea of the chikkal and that thing, you will not get the valuation. See, valuation may not be cheaper. That one thing, na Benjamin School of Thought, na what that? You have to go with the Buffet School of Thought. You have to buy at any valuation for the company to grow. Bottom up approach, that thing, na you are identifying the counter. For example, India, India, like this, na all up under this, na agree, na. adla vandu pathinga na you identified some company for example you take it pretty light or page industries then you have to look into the sector and you have to look into the economy so script reverse ulta va varradha bottom up approach so these are all the two ways to filter the scripts next slide see stock picking naanga vandu indha model la da use pandrom ore first management ah paathrom then adukapra industry oda tailwind enna appdi paathrom For example, for raw material, yaran gude. That is the added advantage. First of all, our growth rate, ROE, ROC. The all that is, there are some free websites are available. Screeners. In, you can use it. This all that is, that is, ROE, return on equity and return on capital employed. This all that is, double digit level. Double digit, digit key level counter choose for that good. We we have a criteria. Now, that is, twenty ml level that is choose for no. ROE and ROC about 20 km and that we select a scripts then market cap vandu pathinga na ellarum penny stocks chinna market cap idala vaanguvanga that we should not uh, touch that we should have some formula based approach kitta thatta vandu minimum 1000 crore ki illa iruka market cap vaanga koodadhu abbinga policy we should have then inge vaanga pe ratio right side la irukku uh, what is the valuation adha at what value the script is traded that is more important so for example in the pandemic apro auto and auto stocks auto frontline uh, oem players alla pathinga na 16 abbingra valuation la available a irukku auto ancillaries alla pathinga na 6 7 ngra pe ratio la available a irukku that is historic lows adhe time la unilever pathinga na is around 70 to 80 pe ratio la irukku so we have to take a call at what this stage what we have to write the investor has to take a call okay you know on the free cash flow vandu paatha avanga cash flow vandu endha company maatrave mudiyadhu they can adjust the eps they can adjust everything but cash flow va no one can change it so when you are looking at the balance sheet one should look into the free cash flow and then dividend payout ratio for example net vandu udharanathukku itc vandu or moderate numbers kuduthirukanga but dividend 10 rupees and 15 paisa kuduthirukanga they change the policy from 60% to 80% அங்க என்ன ஒரு வருஷத்துல சம்பாதிக்கறாங்களோ அதுல 80% டிவிடெண்ட் ஆ கொடுத்துறாங்க சோ இப்ப இன்வெஸ்டருக்கு இதெல்லாம் வந்து ஒரு ஈல்டுக்கு வந்து ஹையஸ்ட் ஈல்ட் கிடைக்கிற சான்சஸ் அத கிட்டத்தட்ட 6% ஈல்டே இப்ப ஐடிசில கிடைக்கும் அட் திஸ் பிரைஸ்ல வாங்குறோம் சோ வாட் இஸ் தி மார்ஜின் சி சேல்ஸ் கூட ஏறிக்கிட்டே இருக்கும் நெட் प्रॉफिट ஏறவே இல்ல அப்படிங்கல யூ ஹேவ் டு சஸ்பெக்ட் இட் சோ வாட் இஸ் தி மார்ஜின் இஸ் தி மார்ஜின் இஸ் கோஆப்பரேட்டிங் வித் இஸ் கோ கோ அலாங் வித் தி சேல்ஸ் வி ஹேவ் டு செக் இட் ஆபரேட்டிங் प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी தென் இது போக வந்து EBITDA margin kattayama paathavana earning before interest tax and depreciation and amortization that is PBT plus depreciation and amortization plus finance costs this is EBITDA margin paathinga na divided by sales kadachinga na EBITDA margin kadaikum so investopedia la poi paathinga na idalla detailed explanation irukke so dayavu senji mudhalidu seiyradhukku munnadi idalla kattukanga debt or pedia credit or pedia number of inventory the inventory Uh, days we have to one should follow all these things by looking into this thing is all about simple crisp action na ROE ROCE PE ratio idu paarenga ROE ROCE double digit la irukonum 10 ku mela irukonum PE ratio 20 ku keela irukonum so scripts are available at good valuation adukaga vanda hindustan unilever ne vikkanum gra avasiyam illa because that script is always discount for the future is not for the past earnings so next slide poma இது we can skip it see ஒரு business model நம்ம चूஸ் பண்ணல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா டாப் லைன் சேல்ஸ் வந்து ஸ்கேலபிள் மாடலா அப்படிங்கிறது we have to look into that for example if reliant jio the last in the pandemic நம்ம இன்னைக்கு we are நம்ம இன்னைக்கு எல்லாரோ positivity negativityங்கறத பத்தி பேசிட்டு இருக்கோம் இத எல்லாத்தையும் எடுத்து காட்டல செஞ்சவர் வந்து முகேஷ் அம்பானி கிட்டத்தட்ட 1.5 trillion he mobilized in this lockdown period so that is a biggest achievement uh, the global companies are uh, cornering jio uh, because only because of the scalable model uh, 
Uh, see, when, nearly four four players were there in the Indian telecom sector. Now only two players, Jio and Bharati Airtel. So uh, even Bharati Airtel was the only one who could make it. Five G phone would be made. But now, because of the Facebook and all the global investors are uh, pouring their money only because of the scalable model. So it looks the future is very bright. It's not a marketing or recommendation. As we are discussing it, okay. See the Ola, Ola, Ola. On the how they. Uh, removed all the. If you are in Chennai, you will see. Or a, or a taxi person, you will know. You will get all the customers. In Chennai, you will get all the feel. Now, the customers are not getting it. Now, you will not get a chance. You know, all of these are highly regulated. So, everyone started preparing that. So, the sales started growing. So, all scalable model. Swiggy is a similar model. Lot of uh, private equity they mobilize money into that. So, or a script to select for that. scalable model ah irukanum it should be the business should be uh, what is that uh, for example for my yak alla red travel epic choose pannanga because of the westernization will penetrate into india abingiradhu avanga andha kaalathile nadichirukanga see in the pandemic period la vandu simple uh, uh, approach vandu pathinga na we can create a coffee can portfolio uh, coffee can nu yen peru vanduchuna ungalukku ella nichayama therinjirukum நம்ம வீடுகள்ல வந்து ஆட்சிமாரிகள் வந்து அலமாரியை வந்து யாரையுமே திறக்க விட மாட்டாங்க அவங்களோட அலமாரிய செட்டியார கூட திறக்க விட மாட்டாங்க அந்த ட்ரெஸ்ஸுக்கு எல்லாம் கீழே வந்து பேப்பர் நியூஸ் பேப்பர் வச்சிருப்பாங்க அது உள்ள பூரா பணம் இருக்கும் ஐநூறு ரூபாய் நோட்டு ஆயிரம் ரூபாய் நோட்டு ரெண்டாயிரம் ரூபாய் நோட்டு டிமானிட்டைசேஷனுக்கு அப்புறம் தான் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா எல்லாரும் எவ்வளவு சேவிங்ஸ் இருந்ததுன்னு கண்டுபிடிச்சிருக்கு வெரி பிக் சைஸ் அது மாதிரி வெஸ்டர்ன்ல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா காஃபி டப்பால போட்டு வைக்கிறது அது வந்து கஷ்ட காலத்துல அது வந்து ஒரு பெரும் பணமா பெரும் தொகையா வருங்கிறது தான் இதை வந்து எப்படி சூஸ் பண்ணணும்னா சேல்ஸ் இட் ஷுட் கோ அப் பை டென் பர்சன்டேஜ் கன்சிக்யூட்டிவ்லி ஃபார் த டென் இயர்ஸ் பத்து வருஷம் பாஸ்ட் டென் இயர்ஸ்க்கு எந்த கம்பெனி பத்து பத்து பர்சன்டேஜ் சேல்ஸ் போயிருக்குன்னு நம்ம பார்க்கணும் அதே மாதிரி ஆர்ஓசி ரிட்டர்ன் ஆன் கேபிட்டல் எம்ப்ளாய்டு பதினஞ்சு பர்சன்ட் போயிருக்குன்னு பாக்கணும் இது ரெண்டையும் பில்டர் பண்ணி எடுத்தோம்னா அதுவும் மார்க்கெட் கேப் வந்து நூறு கோடிக்கு மேல இருக்கும் சிம்பிள் சோ இந்த ஒரு ஃபார்முலா வச்சு அப்ரோச் பண்ணி நாங்க பண்ணிருக்கோம் இதுல வந்து வி பில்டர்ட் அவுட் ஆஃப் தௌசண்ட் எயிட் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் பிப்டி போர் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் இன் நிப்டி வி பில்டர்ட் ஓன்லி போர்டீன் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் இந்த போர்டீன் ஸ்கிரிப்ட்ஸும் பாத்தீங்கன்னா இந்த மார்க்கெட் முப்பத்தி எட்டு பர்சன்ட் இறங்கல இந்த ஸ்கிரிப்ட் வந்து பதிமூணு பர்சன்டேஜ் தான் இறங்கியிருந்தது மார்க்கெட் வந்து இந்த ரெக்கவரி கிட்டத்தட்ட ரெக்கவரி ஆகி கிட்டத்தட்டேஜ் ஏறி இருக்கு அவுட் ஃப்ரம் பாட்டம்ல இருந்து ஏழாயிரத்தி ஐநூறு நிப்டியில இருந்து கிட்டத்தட்ட பத்தாயிரத்தி முந்நூறு இந்த ரெக்கவரியில பத்தொன்பது பர்சன்டேஜ் நிப்டி ரெக்கவர் ஆகிருக்கா இந்த போர்ட்ஃபோலியோ எல்லாம் டுவெண்டி சிக்ஸ் பர்சன்ட் பிளஸ்க்கு வந்துருச்சு சோ தேர் இஸ் அல்ஃபா ஆல்ஃபா இன் திஸ் போர்ட்ஃபோலியோ சோ இன்வெஸ்டர் கேன் பை சிம்பிளி தே ஆர் தே கேன் பி பேசிவ்லி ஆக்டிவ் ஆஸ் லைக் அவர் கேம்பாஸ் ரேதர் தேன் ஆக்டிவ்லி passive yeah passively active so this type of portfolio they can uh, make it once seri ipa evlavu equity la podalam indha oru kelvi kuri ellarkum irundhuk for example varan babu sonna mari 30% nama savings irukonu first your expenses should be into the market indha vandu pathinga out of the 30 percentage 40% to 60% can be into the stock market remaining can be into the debt and alternative asset it can be a goal to tell you move to the next slide see assume that if x is investing 50 percentage of that 30 percentage into equity market of that out of that 50 he can invest 50 into large caps what is large cap or a company oda market capitalization und 30000 crores ku mel irundha large caps india portha mattum கிட்டத்தட்ட <laughs> ஒரு இன்வெஸ்டர் வந்து மார்க்கெட் சைக்கிளுக்கு ஒரு முதலீடு பண்ண போறாருன்னு முடிவு பண்றாருன்னா பொறுத்த மட்டும் 
இதுல வந்து there is a different different phases in the market cycle one is first another is best time to invest another is boring another is uh, boom another is bubble if you look into that uh, us market nu paathinga na i don't know we may be in between boom to uh, bubble kuda irukalam india oda large cap paathinga na it is a boom period la kuda irukalam mid cap and small cap paathinga na we are in between best to boring because two years back our uh, finance minister arun jetty he introduced that long term capital gains into the system equity market only subjected to tax now even after one year we had to pay 10 percentage of the profit as tax adukapra undu paathina funds moved from mid cap and small cap to large cap the liquidity driven nala uh, the uh, large cap stocks pura huge run up aanuchu அதுவும் நிஃப்டி பிப்டில வந்து காம்போசிஷன் பாத்தீங்க thank you uh, thank you parneepan very insightful and eppadi uh, how to go about stock selection nalla ve sonninga ipo adutha vandu we are looking at a different concept of uh, concept of residency with with that we sort of uh, summarize the investment strategy both in india as well as uk ipo adutha vandu residency abindrathu vandu what happens a residency and domiciliary have a lot of importance when it comes to our tax planning matters before but by uk la the ns structure abdin paakradhukku munadi i'll uh, like to request chokalinga mannan to just share an, an overview of why is the concept of residency and domiciliary very important adukapra we can i can quickly go through the conditions for uk annan hey thanks see basically that uh, in the in the tax system in any country the domicile and residency are very much important because that determines what is the tax that you are going to pay and it will affect your own the income tax corporate tax inheritance tax it ellame vandi it is decided based on the uh, your residency status if you are a resident of a country there is a different rule if you are a non resident there is a different rule so adha vandi basic aarambame first ungalude filing la investment la tax la ellathilume neenga endha oorla resident ah irukinga and the resident criteria meet pandringa எவ்வளவு நாள் இருந்திருக்கிறீங்க எத்தனை நாள் வெளியே போயிருக்கீங்க இதெல்லாம் வந்து அதுல ரெலவெண்ட் ஆகுது டொமிசல்னு வரும்போது இட்ஸ் பேசிக்கலி அ பர்சன்ஸ் பெர்மனன்ட் ரெசிடென்ஷியல் ஸ்டேல் இப்ப நம்ம வெளியூருக்கு ஒரு ஹாலிடே போறோம் ஒரு பிசினஸ் மீட்டிங் போறோம் ஒரு வருஷத்துல அஞ்சு மாசம் டிராவலிங்ல இருக்கிறோம் பட் ஆனா இட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் பை த டாக்ஸ் லா இட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் ஹேபிச்சுவல் ரெசிடென்ஸ் ஹேபிச்சுவல் ரெசிடென்ஸ்னாக்க வேற அ பர்சன் பெர்மனன்ட்லி லீவ் வித் இஸ் ஃபேமிலி ஆர் இஸ் ஹோம் வாட் எவர் இஸ் கால்ட் இஸ் கால்ட் த டொமிசல் இது மூணு ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஒருத்தர் இருக்கு ஏன்னா இந்த வருஷம் ரெசிடென்டா இருப்பாங்க அடுத்த வருஷம் நான் ரெசிடென்டா மாறிடுவாங்க திருப்பி இதே கம் பேக் ரெசிடென்ட் சில டாக்ஸ் பிளானிங் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ல அந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் உண்டு ஸோ இட்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன் பீப்புள் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இஸ் டொமிசல் விச் இஸ் பேசிக்கலி பெர்மனன்ட் ஹோம் ஹேபிச்சுவல் ரெசிடென்ஸ் தேங்க்யூ அண்ணன் இஸ் கன்சர்ன் வந்து ரெசிடென்சி இஸ் வெரி சிம்பிளி டிஃபைன்ட் இஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் எயிட்டி த்ரீ டேஸ் ஒரு டாக்ஸ் இயர் ஃப்ரம் சிக்ஸ் ஏப்ரல் ஆஃப் திஸ் இயர் ஏப்ரல் ஆஃப் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் வந்து Uh, according to the hmrc website if somebody spends 183 days or more in that tax year we become residents uh, residents for that tax year and up a recent rule change 2017 uh, april 2017 lerund uh, the hmrc has introduced a change in terms of domiciliary ipo they, they bring in a concept of deemed domicile which as i said is coming to effect from 6th april 2017 adle it's a very complex area but in summary adle enna solranga na within the last 20 year period if somebody has been a resident for the last 15 out of 20 so kadanda 20 varshathile 15 varsham namba vande uk resident ah irundirundona we are considered deemed to be domiciled in the uk this has a significant uh, impact anna sonna mari if you are considered if you are deemed to be a domicile in the uk we will start paying taxes for our worldwide income so if we want the 15 so 2005 la vandavanga for example or munnadi vandavanga ella as of today will be considered deemed to be a domicile in the uk and adanal we will have to start paying 
taxes for our worldwide income, which will include India as well. So, for the last 15 out of 20, in about three years, we will have to turn back and down. And the 20 or 15, when the UK residents are in that, we are bound to pay uh, all taxes for all our earnings across the world. It's a significant difference. That is, the UK for the work of inheritance tax is at 40 percent. India inheritance tax is at 80 percent. And by being a deemed domicile of UK, when the we start paying 40% tax of our assets in India as well. So that's the quick background. And the, and the quick background on residence and domicile order, I move over to Visalakshi on, on a session of taxation of income for, the, uh, for, for Indian NRAs. Visalakshi. Uh, global income, then the rule like it gets taxed. One is source rule, another is the residence rule. What is a source rule? Where the income is originated in that country, it should be taxed. A residence rule is when you are a resident of that country, that country deems to collect tax from you. So, in our Porto Variku, India, the source rule based Panida, they are collecting tax. So, this is the basic guideline on how India collects tax from non residents. India la the income is categorized into five heads: salary, house property, business, capital gains, and other sources. Want of time, na mitche naal head dayu na quicka move pani dren. Capital gains la matto enode emphasis a place pani dren. Salary portho variko, salary portho variko, ninga vande India la earn panna salary plus ninga outside of India earn panna lo. If it is paid by an employer in India, it gets taxed as an Indian income. House property, all your rental, whether you have let it out for a residence or a commercial bank, it will be put together. In the quick points, if you spend on repairs or not, they are not bothered. They give you a flat 30% reduction. Say your rental income is 1 lakh, you spend only 10,000, but you're eligible to claim 30,000 as repairs and uh, on the balance, you can, if you purchase a property on loan, interest expense you can reduce. Now, I put a very complex on Wangir and 4 lakhs is the interest component alone. Up what will be my eligible deduction? Earlier, it was a different scenario. Current scenario, only up to a maximum of 2 lakhs, you can reduce it from your house property income. The balance 2 lakhs, it can be carried over to the next year and can be reduced from the house property income of the next year. Every loan has a principal component and an interest component. Interest component is reduced directly from the house property income. Principal component is reduced from your ATC. ATC, I will be dealing with it a little later. So, if you have purchased a property jointly, then you have the benefit of claiming uh, the interest deduction in two five. Mean as soon as send or property wangre, apna obviously joint loan ada ruko. Apna in the naal lakshita aade varsha you can utilize two lakhs in the wife name, two lakhs in the husband name. And the Carry forward when the irkada and the version may consume panirla. Are they my principal component to render pair of me same year you can utilize it. Either matu, if you are purchasing property in India, if you want to use the interest benefit, do it duly. If as of now, Ninga Vandu or Sadarn or salary tax, uh, salaried resident, you have given your uh, you are a NRI landlord, resident is the tenant, resident Indian is a tenant. In a situation, it just comes like that. And going forward, when everything is captured, everything is now being monitored, NRI pan a porta, house property income must come only after withholding taxes. India for house property is 30% withholding taxes. So if you have a new way, only on the tenant, 30 rupees straight a government cut, which is the way you have to going forward your complaints are varu. you just have to be aware of it business income business income 
main point when the if the control and management is in india then it is an indian income so idu mattu ninga therinjita podu business income la now it is into capital gains capital gains da vandu or crucial point for everyone staying abroad capital gains a portha varaikum it is taxed in both the countries unga country liyum tax aagum and naangalo tax pan tax a vandu collect pannadukku appuram da we will allow you to repatriate the money ipa in the sale consideration is clear you you speak a deal for 5 crore sale consideration will have no question how to ascertain cost nariya per you have now moved out of india ungalku properties india la irukum ipa cost appo eppadi kandupidikirathu na vande enakku enga ayya enakku vande or property kuduthirukla or villa moolama appo enna agum enakku vande adu free ah da vandirukku appo should i pay tax with entire 5 crores when my cost is zero kediyadu enga ayyoda cost will be my deemed cost so that is called deemed cost to, uh, and if i have purchased it very well it will be in the sale deed I mean the purchase deed you can take that cost idile innonor point enna appadina when the as an interest portion building a tower matha capital asset loan la vaangirundha and the interest you you can add it to your cost price adutha vande நீங்க ஒன் ஃபோர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஒன்னுக்கு முன்னாடி அசட்ஸ் வாங்கியிருந்தா உங்க தாத்தா இல்ல நீங்களே டூ தௌசண்ட் ஒன் முன்னாடி வாங்கியிருந்தா ஏன்னா ஒன் ஃபோர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஒன்ல த வாஸ் ரெவல்யூஷன் சேஞ்ச் இன் ஹவு டு டேக்ஸ் த அசட்ஸ் ஸோ ஒன் ஃபோர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஒன்னுக்கு முன்னாடி வாங்கின எல்லா அசட்டுமே த கவர்மெண்ட் ஹஸ் ரிவைஸ் த கைட் லைன்ஸ் இதுக்கு ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் குயிக்கா கொடுத்துடுறேன் என்னோட காஸ்ட் வந்து நான் பர்ச்சேஸ் பண்ணது நைன்டீன் நைன்டில என் காஸ்ட் வந்து வெறும் ஒன் த்ரோ தான் 2001 guideline padi fair market value is that the fixed cost the act says whichever is higher and beneficial to the assessee that cost can be adopted so na vikra anniki i can take the fair market value as my cost and compute my gains the second point to note is the holding period holding period decides the rate of tax whether it's long term or short term how to ascertain whether it is long term or short term long term capital gains when you hold an asset for more than 36 months it is called the long term capital gains it ella the opposite than short term so na first detail la long term solren short term vandu it quick ah the opposite than so the 36 months vandu edadukla apply aagadu appadina when you have listed shares securities equity oriented mutual funds idella ninga more than 12 months mattum shares securities mutual funds more than 12 months holding period irundha it is long term capital gains unlisted shares adavud listed shares indradhu anna sonna bsc nsc la trade aagra shares unlisted shares na namma and private limited nammala vechirukom la closely held and the unlisted shares land and building idella 2 years ku mela vechirundale it is a long term asset so uh, what happens in the holding period la vande na sonna adhe ayya example edutha na hold வாங்கினாங்களோ அது வந்து என்னோட இது வந்து it be calculated as a long term asset indexation benefit vand long term asset indexation benefit na enna na na 1990 la irukra cost of living um 2020 nu same a illa so to match that the gov the act gives an indexation benefit 2001 na base ah vechirukanga 2001 la like 100 indexation benefit undu 289 appo na 2.89 times innikku na vitta 2001 ku munadi vaangna asset ah irundha 2.89 times of my cost i can multiply 1 lakh ku vaangina 2001 la innikku adu vandu 2 lakh 89000 aduthu vandu exemptions long term capital gains ku mattum exemptions irukku short term capital gains ku exemption kedaiyadu long term capital gains vandu nri sa portha varaikum moone moonu section da applicable first vandu na edhu illa moonu modhal applicable a irundhuchu ipo rendu da irukku 54 EC ன்றது நிறைய பேருக்கு தெரிஞ்சிருக்கும் 
நீங்க என்ன பண்ணுவீங்கன்னா ஒரு ரூரல் எலக்ட்ரிபிகேஷன் பாண்டோ ஒரு நேஷனல் ஹைவே அத்தாரிட்டியிலையோ ஸ்ட்ரைட்டா வந்து உங்களோட கெயின்ஸ் போய் டெபாசிட் பண்ணிடுவீங்க ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் கழிச்சு அந்த பணம் அப்படியே வரும் ஸோ வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இஸ் உங்களுக்கு பணம் வில் பி ஈஸிலி அவைலபிள் விதவுட் டேக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரைட்லி யூ கேன் ரீபேட்ரியேட் ஆனா அதர் தே ஹவ் நவ் ஸ்கிராப்ட் இட் யூ ஹாவ் யூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் தட் ஆப்ஷன் யூ ஓன்லி ஹாவ் டூ ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ நவ் வாட் ஆர் யூ செல்லிங் இஃப் யூஆர் செல்லிங் அ ரெசிடென்ஷியல் ஹவுஸ் you can reinvest in a residential house there is a time frame i am selling it today so when should my reinvestment happen either i should reinvest i should purchase a house if it is for purchasing a flat or a house i should purchase it within one year before the sale or two years after the sale in case i am constructing a house i have to construct it with within three years from the date of transfer this is regarding selling a residential house and buying a residential house if i do so my capital gains will be entirely zero or example oda sollona na 5 crore rupees ki vikkiren 2 crore rupees en cost 3 crore en gain i'm sorry 3 crore en cost 2 crore en gain so in the two crores i purchase a flat entire two crores will be wiped off and my capital gain will be only zero so tax vandu zero la da calculate aagum 54b indra denna i sell any capital asset i can sell any capital asset and the investment should be only in residential house the same time frame applies one year before two years after for purchase of a flat three years after the date of transfer you have to construct the house so ninga innikku vikkireenga or 2 to 3 years aagu or veeda construct panna appa inda panatha you cannot use it you will have to deposit the money in an account which is called capital gains account it can either be an sp account or an fd account we had a client they didn't want to uh, like they invested in a bond and there was even surplus so they wanted to buy a flat so they maintained this balance amount in an sb account ana they didn't know to ask அது கேபிட்டல் கெயின்ஸ் எஸ்பி அக்கௌண்ட் உங்களுக்கு சொல்லாம வெறும் எஸ்பி அக்கௌண்ட்ல போட்டனால தி அசெசிங் ஆபீசர் டாக்ஸ் தி என்டையர் அமௌண்ட் அண்ட் ஹி டு நாட் கிவ் தி எக்ஸம்ஷன் சோ பீ கேர்ஃபுல் வைல் டெபாசிட்டிங் தி அமௌண்ட் சரி இப்ப வந்து பணம் போட்டாச்சு फ्लैट வாங்களோ னு ஐடியா டிராப் ஆயிடுச்சு அப்ப என்ன சிச்சுவேஷன் இது ஒரு உங்களுக்கு இன்னொரு ஒரு சிச்சுவேஷன்ல வந்துச்சு client வந்து they wanted to take the money back they were ready to pay the capital gains tax அப்ப capital gains tax அ பே பண்ணி assessing officer should give you a clearance certificate if he says if he gives a clearance certificate that certificate can be produced to your banker and he can then repatriate your money this is regarding the sale if a jda vandu nareya perukku nadakkum you are all abroad ungalku inge or piece of land irukku uh, say adhula or four flats construct pannala for want of time ninga inge vandu panna mudiyadhu inge iruka complaints la ungalala adhar panna mudiyadhu apdi ninga nenikirappa you will enter with jda jda enter pandrappa enna sikkal varuna ungalukku eppa capital gains arise aagundrathu ungalku theriyadhu oru supreme court decision vanduchu idhukku ena staggered payments advance first kudukana namakku vandu 3 4 varsham kapram dhan project complete aagum அப்படி எல்லாம் இருக்கிறனால திரும்பவும் ஆல் தி ஆம்பிகூட்டி ஜேடிஏ பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் என்ன சொன்னாங்கன்னா சர்டிபிகேட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்ளீஷன் உங்களுக்கு கொடுத்தாங்க அப்படின்னா அந்த இயர்ல யூ கேன் யூ கேன் பே த கேபிட்டல் கெயின்ஸ் டாக்ஸ் இப்ப இதுல இன்னொன்னொரு பாயிண்ட் என்னன்னா ஜேடிஏ வந்து என்ட்ர் ஆறப்ப டெவலப்பருக்கு ரெண்டு ஃபிளாட் எனக்கு ரெண்டு ஃபிளாட்ன்னு சொன்னாங்கன்னா அப்ப என்ன ஆகும் அந்த சுச்சுவேஷன்ல என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னா ரெண்டு ஃபிளாட்ட வந்து அந்த அக்ரிமெண்ட் முடியறதுக்கு முன்னாடியே டிரான்ஸ்பர் பண்ணணும்னு நினைச்சா அந்த டைம்ல வந்து ஐ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் டு வெயிட் ஃபார் த சர்டிபிகேட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்ளீஷன் அதுக்கு முன்னாடியே நான் என்னைக்கு டிரான்ஸ்பர் பண்றேனோ கேபிட்டல் கெயின்ஸ் டாக்ஸ் வில் அரைஸ் சோ இதுதான் கேபிட்டல் கெயின்ஸ் பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் அதர் சோர்ஸ்ல வந்து ஜென்ரலா என்ஆர்ஐஸ்க்கு வந்து என்னென்ன என்னென்ன பேசிக்கா வந்து உங்களுக்கு டிவிடன் இன்கம் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன்கம் தான் பெரும்பாலான என்ஆர்ஐஸ்க்கு வந்து அக்ரூவ் ஆகும் டிவிடன் ஏர்லியர் வந்து ஃபுல்லி எக்ஸம்டா இருந்துச்சு அப்புறம் வந்து கேப் ஆஃப் டென் லேக்ஸ் எக்ஸம்ஷன் கொடுத்தாங்க நவ் இட் இஸ் ஃபுல்லி டாக்ஸபிள் நவ் திஸ் இயர் இட் இஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி டாக்ஸபிள் ரெசிடென்ட் இந்தியன்ஸ் வந்து தே வில் பே டாக்ஸ் 
as per their tax bracket. Now, if it is 20% plus 4% says, and if surcharge is applicable, surcharge is also levied. Apo ungal kena ahu 22.88% dividend ke tax katunu. Treaty irna chena to avoid double taxation avoidance if that's a treaty. Treaty rate will apply. Apply. UK Puerto Rican that's a treaty and uh, the act says whichever is beneficial you can choose the rate. Now the treaty but the discuss and the rate and the cover country so that and the comparison will be easier. Interest income of Puerto Rico NRE la maintain pandra ella amount to other than the interest ella me completely exempt. NRE la varadhe NRO is fully taxable. NRO vandhe ungla the same 30% la tax ahum plus 4% says and surcharge as applicable. So roughly 34 to 36% were equal tax ahu. Either kum UK ko India kum treat irk to avoid the double taxation. Either liyum vandhe whichever is beneficial the assessor can choose. Adith vandhe uh, who should file the return of income? I have a taxable income of more than two and a half lakhs. It is mandated to file a return of income. Two and a half lakhs for you, you don't have any tax paying uh, obligation. Anything over and about two and a half lakhs, you have to pay uh, tax. I mean, you have will have to file your return of income. Now, I saw the capital gains exemption. I have two crores gains. I have two crores reinvest. Now, I have gains one zero. In the perspective, la, na return of income file pannama vendama. Idu ning kandipa pannida ahnu. Na ning andu exemption avail pannada kapparna ung income andu zero vagu. So it is mandatory to file your return of income. So ella anju head of income ninga poorringa. Poorta the kappra you arrive on the gross total income. The government the act says you can avail few exemptions. I mean few deductions. NRS ko andu. In the ATC, ATD, ATE, ATG, ATTT, na quick on the NN solid. ATC one the more of an investment perspective. Ning LIC leo, house loan principal portion, illa ning a one the on a mutual fund, equity oriented fund investment. NRAs cannot invest in public provident fund, which is available for resident Indians. So only over public provident fund leo or pension scheme leo for us on you can. Probably invest, I mean, you, you don't have the option, it's a prohibited investment also, you cannot do that. ATD is for medical insurance. Only lot of parents in Irkanga, Angalakini insurance, medical insurance is for your dependents, spouse, parents, and children. You have a cap for that. You can invest in, I mean, you can invest in medical insurance, and the amount you do so can be reduced from your gross total income. Your children are studying in India, you have taken a loan on a higher education. The interest portion which you pay on the loan can be amortized for eight years, and that portion can be reduced from your gross total income. Nareya pe ringe vandu, nareya namar sangamsla inge India la vandu or trust vachre panga. As an individual NRI, you can donate to that trust or any other trust recognized by the income tax department. In the angkurukur recipe potruko, it is the exemption available. And the number Morapono, it should be mandatorily printed in the receipt. Upper Yirkra trust are in the Ning a Kurthangana, and the amount too you can reduce as per the uh, prescribed Adaponjo Idala working circle, other parts you can reduce it from your total income. ATTTA for Turkey non residents, NRO account lavara savings bank interest up to a cap of ten thousand, you can reduce it from your gross total income. Next slide, please. Ipa, in the budget, lavandu, there was a uh, old tax lab, uh, new tax lab. Old lavandu, so, this is the choose pandra, the old regime, new regime, and the confusions. Vandu, vandu te Ongle varikum, vandu clear, clear Ipa, in the mari LIC investment, rukke, na housing loan, rukke, medical insurance. Rukke. If I have a housing loan, I have an interest in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. I have a lot of money in the house. So, this is a basic thumb rule. If I have an investment option in India, 
I can go to the old regime. I don't have an investment option. I can go to the new regime. There's always the switching over benefit. In the version of old poor, Arthur Shah probably had a housing on Murunjir. I can definitely switch over to the new regime provided, provided I don't have income from business or profession. NRA, when the business income in India, one time select Pantana, they cannot opt out. Other than those who have business income, Illa, the Matra Angal, Varsha, Varshan, they can calculate which is beneficial to them. Tax, Edila Kamya, Varshan, they can calculate and choose. In the key objective of in the two type of regimes, Edika Prina, simplification. NRA is Angir Panga, Naraya Pir Vanda, they will want things to happen quick. Uh, in the Naraya, Process la mande they will al punja angle ke duvar ko. Yo re expert illa me namalave pani kla apniin drdnaala the new regime propose punanga. It is only for basically only to simplify the process and to do the returns by themselves. New regime is proposed. This is all about the income aspects ane. Thank you, Mr. Lakshya. Apni just for want of time. Thank you for your insights. We'll continue into investment options for NRIs and look at the tax position for that. Quickly, if you can run through these as well, please. Yes, sir. I'll quickly. Palya pannane vandu and the eppadi vandu nienga equity share la invest pannu under the detail as soli nanga the portfolio investment scheme mula mana you can invest trade in shares. Other than that, ungal ke nane investment options erku na you have. You can buy residential and commercial properties, non-agriculture land, jewelry, bank accounts, NRE and NRO accounts. Then you open one of them. If you are aware of what I mentioned, you can say that you can say that you can say that you can say that SB account is NRE and NRO. If you are in the same time, you can go to SB account. If you are not in the same time, you can go to NRE account. If you are in the same time, next time you are in the same time, just ensure you change it to an NRE NRO account because that all me ipo compliance are they are being monitoring. That is ipo resident account aida we have still no clarity. That pinnadi apply ang vandu that treat panvang ante. So just to be on a safer side, next time ninga vandu that NRE account to mati ringa mutual fund, LIC medical insurance. Yada vilala ninga invest panna mudiya the. Unglal or tea estate or coffee estate or mangga mudiya the. Agriculture land la kandipa vandu onglo da investment vachiko mudiya the. Pension scheme, post office deposit, NSC, idhar lamme panna mudiya the. Idhar la oru question enna varong na, enga ayya orda coffee estate di panak varde. Ipe thina idhar na panna la amprint. Apni will mula ma varada, ninga vine kla. Vikrappa you have to undergo few procedures. Amda vandu probably that depends on case to case basis. So this is all about investments. In the tax rate, I'll discuss it a little later. Okay. Again, uh, talking about dual taxation agreement, very specific to India and UK, if you can run that fast as well. Ah, okay. That exists. That is to avoid double taxation hardship. India has entered into uh, DTA agreements with several countries. Double taxation avoidance agreements with several countries. It also holds a double taxation agreement between India and UK. So now, an NRA UK resident will have two tax rates. One prescribed in the Act, one prescribed in the Treaty. If the rate Act is prescribed in the rate, I will tell you the dividend, the surcharge is added. If the rate is prescribed in the Treaty, no surcharge is added. It will be plain tax rate. One non-resident can choose whichever is beneficial to him. In the tax treaty, Mulama on the tax on the charge Pano Nanachangna, they will have to provide a tax residency certificate. Until and unless a tax residency certificate is submitted to the competing authorities, you cannot avail the treaty benefits. In the tax residency certificate, the Yanglo importance emphasized Pandranga Prina, they just want to know you are a permanent resident in one country and you are a taxpayer in that country. So, if you have a tax payer in that country, you can get a tax residency certificate. Now, the Act is 20% of the dividend. The rougher is 22%. The treaty is 10%. So, in the dividend, you can choose 10% as your tax rate. 
இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன்கம் வந்து டெக்னிக்கல் ஃபீஸ் வந்து டென் பர்சன்ட் ஸோ நீங்கள் யூ கேன் ஆல்வேஸ் ஒர்க் விச் ஆர் வாஸ் பெனிஃபிஷியல் யூ கேன் ஆப்ட் இட் ஃபார் திஸ் இஸ் ரிகார்டிங் வித் யூவல் டிரான்சேஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் again uh, thank you on the repatriating money from india from india uk lerndu india pan anupradha endha prachniyum illama comfortable ah anupa mudiyadhu but ana uh, when bringing money back from india to uk there are several challenges so adha adhula vandu innik irukra situation enna uh, repatriation basically enna na na ange endu kondu vandha panam na so if you have brought in money through an nre account it is 100% repatriable i have gotten 10 lakhs to buy shares now i am selling those shares it is now 12 lakh 10 lakh is completely repatriable 100% repatriable the balance 2 lakhs will be your current income and it will be then only after this tax paid you can repatriate outward remittance abindrana india la aanana money after paying tax you can send it across ஒரு <laughs> and you want to remit it less than 5 lakhs it is simple you just have to fill part a of form 15 ca and you can send it across allow the 15 ca like part a fill panni and the acknowledgement number you submit to your banker then they will send your send your money to your overseas account so now comes part b and part c which is uh, which has to be dealt carefully part b a portha varaikku you have a taxable income remittance is more than 5 lakhs but i have applied for a lower deduction meaning meaning na vandu or capital asset a vikren or building a vikren adoda cost vandu 5 kodi buyer vandu resident buyer resident buyer a irukkrappa avan enna paara straight 5 kodi ki 20% 1 crore na tax pudichittu da ungalku micha 4 crore settle pannuven solvaru neenga enna solluvinga idha na enoda cost reduce panni varappa என்னோட <laughs> இந்தியாவில் அக்ரூவ் ஆன மணிக்கு டாக்ஸ் கட்டாம வெளியே போயிடக்கூடாது ஆன அ சேஃபர் சைட் அவங்க அஞ்சு கோடிக்கும் பிடிச்சிடறாங்க மிச்சம் நீங்க உங்க கால்குலேஷன் வந்து கரெக்டா இருந்துச்சுன்னா ரீஃபண்ட் வாங்கிக்கோங்க நம்ம வந்து லோ டிடக்ஷன் அப்ளை பண்றோம் ஏஹோ வந்து அந்த ஒர்க்கிங்ஸ் வந்து சாட்டிஸ்பைடா இருந்தாங்க அப்படின்னா மணி அவுட் வர்ட் part c of forms 15 ca uh, ca states what is your taxable income is more than 15 may more than 5 lakhs and you uh, you want to transfer the money you don't have any low deduction certificate edhum kedaiyad ellame pudichitaanga appa nee or ca certificate vaangalum ca card accountant has to assure that income earned here is tax paid and he gives you the clearance once he gives you the clearance adu vandu everything is online everything is online once that uh, certificate is given online there will be an acknowledgement number that acknowledgement number has to be entered in 15 ca form and the summit 15 ca is now submitted online again there will be an acknowledgement number this acknowledgement number has to be given to your banker and when your banker is satisfied I mean the banker will, then he can transfer the money so these are the three crucial parts part is part d is basically it is for money that there is no income tax meaning there is no tax because you can remit the money straightly you can send the money across thank you thank you mr lakshmi the final bit of all these basic checks is to ensure income is taxed <laughs> yeah 
Yes, thank ma'am. you. Yeah, thanks. Next, finally, if you can also touch upon what happens to gifts. So, gifts received in India, when the every deal, panna no, every account to varla. Gifts are for the very few. When the NRA is when the receipt of gift when the blood relatives income tax when the relatives are apply into the defined panir kanga. So, blood relative under the basic a when the appa amma. उंटिंग If the tax of thirty percent is remitted, after that you can send the money to your country. This is regarding NRA gifts. Okay, uh, okay, right. I'll stop there. Thank you. Now, if I want to, in the in the show of plan, but I'm also we've had four speakers, and uh, actually, I've found that looking at the content that each of one is sharing, when the we could have potentially made this into four events and relevant each one. There is a content here, so. If I want to, we uh, just to manage time. You know, you know, we've got some more time, and then we need to allocate the time for the question session as well. So, just from a perspective of making sure that time can be well managed, we are trying to go in to quickly go back to all the speakers one by one, starting with Chakalinga Mandan, to share your views in terms of finance and career. The, although all four speakers are well within the finance fraternity, I want to overthrow Mandan coming from a different background. So, for any youngster listening in, uh, you know, a chocolate company especially has been within the big four accounting firms and has his own uh, practice as an auditor. So, quickly in terms of your tips and suggestions for the next generation looking to make a career in finance, what will be your views on it? Okay, thanks, uh, Sekhman. I mean, basically, finance is a good field to be in because at the end, all sectors can be covered. Engineering, manufacturing, oil, gas, all the fields are your finance for a requirement in there. So as long as you have a strong and solid experience, or a good or a foundation, all that you are, that means you can't go upside away, you can't launch the rocket overnight. Or three, four years, or maybe five, six years, maybe a good or solid foundation in there. Then it's easy to maintain and sustain in the field of finance. Another thing is. Why financial getting? I have just told you, it is very important. Your personal life line area is very important. I have come across many people who don't have that much of finance knowledge, and it's too late for them to realize what they have done or what they could have done. I know that when they come to me, my initial finance knowledge is developed, and they participate, and they are on a on a layman level, and they are learning. And they are in a school level, and they are getting some information on it. उंटिंग risk management pension fund insurance fund the mari evlo iruke business valuation consulting m&d uh, there's no limit to it ella field layum finance iruke and the finance lay vandu ipo for example ipo enna eduthinga na ipo i am an auditor na ka enna ku enoda expertise vera ipo na investment banking ponna adukku na beginning la irundhu vandirukom so even though i switch over and learn quickly but in finance ku le neraya specializations irukku ipo medical la epdi specialization neraya irukku and the mari finance line area specializations irukku so it's a good thing and it will help you to learn lot of things improve your overall knowledge manage your finance successfully which you still need it even at the age of 70 so adanal i don't see there's anything uh, negative in looking at the finance and it's a great field and it keeps challenging and there's always numbers and the numbers don't lie so oru idhila solradhu innoru idhila neenga verify pannikka mudiyum if you get a form of a comfort also so that that's that way i would suggest that uh, younger generations who are looking into career of business edhila ponna finance nal or or runway mari then you can uh, specialize and diversify its international qualification endha urukku ponalum ungalku vandha and the basic 
uh, applicability is still remaining the same everywhere, wherever you go. So that's that's what I would suggest in terms of finance as a career. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for your insights into it. Uh, moving over to Palani Yappan, again, uh, finance within the stock market and investment trade, what are your views? Yeah. Uh, Sekapan, I divide my role into three. Adala, one is the stock broking. Stock broking is a lot of discount brokers are there. A lot of technology companies are entering into broking. They offer very high fi technology at free of cost. So that is a diminishing field, I feel. But out of the stock broking, all the leading stock brokers are having research and development as their focus. With that only, they develop their business. So there is a very big scope in that R&D. Especially that uh, pharmaceutical uh, analysts are having higher demand in India. Okay, there is a very limited people are available. Even a lot of uh, uh, Western stockbroking firms are having their back office in India, Bangalore and Hyderabad, Deesha, like that, and Adiwala Karan in India, like that. They have their R&D division in India. So there is a very big job opportunity in that field. Even our uh, big merchandise will be exposure for experience, I've been thinking, you know, what I strongly say is for a bull market and for a bear market is going to be a cycle of eight years, complete eight years. That I call it as experience in the field of stock market. Then next part, I come to consulting. Consulting means it's a management consulting. There's a very big opportunity in management consulting in India. And then third part is investments. See, so far we have come across the risk and all these things. When it comes to investments, one should know how to eliminate Minimize the risk and maximize the return. For that, he need to practice discipline. And the discipline, on the other hand, if you go to office for thirty minutes, you know, ladies are very good in discipline. They chully kurta the kathi langya. They are implementing it. They are not violating the rules. They make very good money. Buy on low, sell on high. So these are all the three parts, and there is a very big scope in all the three parts. Second one. Uh, thank you, thank you, Palmi Apple. Uh, moving into uh, Dr. Meena Mo from UK. Uh, the Guardian newspaper interestingly says investment managers uh, manage billions and earn millions. What's uh, what's your view on career as an investment manager within within the UK, Mina? I mean, it's definitely a rewarding career. I mean, no doubt about it. Uh, it is not a risk-free career. So if you don't do well, you can be out. Okay, so it's not like when you're a doctor. You know, you do have a job it's a steady, stable income, that's fine. You're a fund manager, if you don't perform, you know, you can be out very, very quickly. It's not, a, they, don't, they don't take fools gladly. So um, from my perspective, I had no background in economics or in finance or accounting when I first came to the city of London. Um, I was very fortunate uh, because my Aya and my mama and all, they were stockbrokers. My father, he always invested in shares. And so as a child, I always grew up with this conversation. So um, I remember this call, you know, after my PhD, going and seeing, uh, uh, you know, my mentor. And, you know, after a half an hour conversation, he told me, as a mathematician, why do you want to come to the city? And I, <laughs> and I was very fortunate. I told him, look, you know, I come from a family of bankers, you know, and it doesn't matter that I don't have academic experience on it. Uh, you know, I do have an interest in it. And uh, it just took half an hour for him, you know, a very, very small company at that stage to take me on. And he was the, um, the man who set up capital markets for one of the big French banks. So I was very fortunate with my timing, with my situation. Uh, the one thing that I would say about finance is, you know, you have to come here. You have to have a passion for it. It is very diversified. You can make a lot of money. Money should be not be the motivator of it. You should actually have an interest. You should be able to take risk. I mean, trust me, you know, I've got enough white hair in those 10 days in March when the markets kept falling. You know, within one hour, I saw cable, sterling dollar, go down 5%. It's the most liquid market in the world. And I saw it go down 5%. The whole point is not to panic when something like that happens. It is to have the ability, the willpower, the blood pressure to bear with it because you are moving a lot of money. It is leverage. And the most important thing is when you make an investment decision or a financial decision under stress, 
and you lose your nerves, it will be a bad decision. So if someone feels that they don't have the temperament for this, you know, maybe a different sort of career option is best. And the more, other most important thing is, please you make sure you have a good mentor because that really makes and breaks finance because you get better. It's like fine wine. It, it, you know, it ages very well. You know, you need to have the experience. The younger you are, you take very, very un, unappealing risks. Whereas the older you get, you have the experience and you make better decisions. So yeah, it's a patient career. Thank you, Mina. Thank you very much. And uh, Visalakshi, you are a person who is a third generation auditor from a very well known uh, Nagarathar audit firm. Arthabade, uh, you also said uh, from your husband's side, both from your family, you've always been auditors. As a family, as a family of auditors, what has your experience been within the finance industry? I'll uh, already share. Uh, the past 15 years, with the influx of FDIs, in the finance career, it has become more attractive. Uh, it is now going digital. Everything is now streamlined. It is very inviting to set up a business here. A person from anywhere can practice finance here. So it is always, there are lots and lots of compliances to be done. The finance career here is picking up more and more advantage. Definitely one who comes here, we'll be ready to mold and mentor them. And if there is any requirement or assistance, we'll be happy to help them out. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Actually, so final session uh, before we get into the questions, Vanda, for just to share, I mean, all these professionals have shared their knowledge with us. And uh, just, a, just a quick question to them will be, uh, what will they be able to help us with and how do we contact them? So that's, that's the quick uh, next session that's coming up. If I can start with Chokalinga Mandan uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of how you can help the Nagaratars and, and how, how we can reach you. Thank you. Uh, basically, I'm uh, 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 in Singapore practicing as an auditor. I'm a partner in one of the firm called Ferro Partners, which is uh, run, I have two partners with me. One is an Australian, another one is a Switzerland guy. So we three run this together. And uh, we specialize in more of uh, companies entering into the Asia market. Singapore, one day, Asia, we know they were gateway up in Asia. It's Singapore has a favorable tax treaty with a lot of countries, so it is seen as a gateway to enter into the Asian market. In the holding company, which it is from Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, in the subsidiary investment, MND, JV, and say one. Same as Singapore, the competitive Hong Kong, everyone are in the chair or allow a close neck to neck in the chair. If a recent time Hong Kong issues, a lot of funds are being diverted into the Singapore market. A huge amount has come into the market in the month of March, April. So in the month of Singapore, the Singapore is a territory-based. Territory-based tax system, you can earn tax. So if you earn India, you can earn money in Singapore. In the case of most of the countries worldwide basis, worldwide, in the world, earn Banalo, Ungalu, a domiciled country, other declare punning a tax cutter. See, territory based now, and the within the four boundaries could earn under the Matun in a tax. Up a Singapore and the territory based tax easier Kongalpe, Renda within a tax rate Rumba Kame, for example, in Yondipa or a hundred K or a salary or a hundred K income or a family to Verde Abrinaka, Abungalu effective tax rate when they get the three to four percent now. All allowances, all college, park, both, all that net up, park, both. Effective rate, only three to four percent under range. That is there. That is my corporate tax. Me, only in the seventeen percent in the world. But all that, there are allowances, subsidies, all that. That all, for a few years, effective tax rate is four to five percent. Now, two. Two. In the Singapore, go, many countries go. There are DTAs, all that. There are benefits. There are dividend taxable. There are dividend. There are four. There are dividend. Benefits are available. Structure planning is available. If you invest in Singapore, is a good entry point. As a firm, we will guide you, we will work with you, give you the right advice, structure, operate and understand and help you to grow with the firm. And we will provide you all the necessary uh, personalized service and guidance to work with you also. That's why we will give you a service. 
thank you, Anil. Your contact details were also shared on the screen. Thank you very much. Next, we move on to uh, Palni Appan in terms of how uh, Brahmat as a business can help the audience listening in today. See, the stock market is not an amusement park. Okay, it's not a place for entertainment. It is like a temple. One should maintain the discipline. Whatever, when it comes to equity or mutual fund, we can support it, we can guide you, we can take you through that. Of course, risk is yours. So far, what we have seen in the past two hours is only we thought the, how to swim in the classroom. Uh, once if you dip your leg into the water, you will forget everything. So stock market is also like that. So we, we are ready to guide you and uh, we can help you to uh, minimize your risk and maximize your return. Thank you. Thank you. One second. Thank you, Palnipan. All the contact details were also shared on the screen. Uh, yeah. Next, we move to uh, Dr. Meena Lakshmanan from LGT West. If you can tell us how uh, you will be able to help the audience, please. So LGT West is a private client firm in London. Our clients are quite global. We manage uh, money for both UK resident clients and UK res non-dom clients. We also manage money for institutional investors. We basically offer two services. One is wealth planning and the other one is investment management. My expertise is on the investment management side. Uh, so we can advise you on tax wrappers and then we can also advise you on how to build your portfolio together and how to manage that. Uh, we can also do execution only or we can do advisory services as well. Uh, thank you, Meena. Thanks a lot. And uh, moving on to uh, to Visal, actually, Peri Tyagraj and Kola, what are the services you offer? Nanga Epri contact for Nalpiti. The services which we offer to the NRIs are if a, you will want to repatriate your money. So, to fill in 15 CACB, we will be able to help you out. And everything can be sent, information can be sent online. With all those details, we will help you in repatriating the money. Same way, we'll, be, we'll help you to in, uh, decide on tax options, tax saving, tax planning, all those advice we will be able to give you, capital gains tax planning, and direct tax representations, if any is picked up, we will help, we'll represent on your behalf to the assessing officers. And uh, if there are any other services like obtaining lower reduction certificate, on your behalf, we can obtain those lower deduction certificates. Taxation part, Anything under taxation, we will be able to help you out. Uh, thank you, Visal. Thank you very much. Uh, but that, that, though we had other items planned for the discussion, uh, we are at about uh, uh, 339. So we will take some questions from the viewers so that we give an opportunity for all of us to ask questions. First request, and then now, again, we are very short of time. So initially, we are opening up questions for the members of London Nagratar Sangam and Nagratar Sangam UK. Once they've had some opportunity to ask their questions, now the rest of the world, global audience, we are looking to open up the questions. But first, uh, so if you would like to go in and ask a question, please, uh, please let us know through the chat window so we can open up, uh, we can unmute you and then you can ask your questions. Adhikapra will also be just to get more questions done. If you would like to chat your, if you'd like to uh, put up your question on the chat window, it'll be easier for one of us to read it as well. So as and when you're ready with the questions, we will start taking them. So chat window, if you can please put in your name. At this stage, we're looking at members from LNS and Nagarata Sangam UK to, to get an opportunity to ask their questions. So while we wait for uh, some of the questions, I mean, one question that's come about on, uh, on, uh, on bringing money from India to UK, they've said, are there any restrictions of what we can bring into UK or subject to India rules, will we be able to bring everything back to UK? See, yeah. through NRE yeah. account, uh, I think yes, no I restriction in that. Okay, thank you. And I'll probably let uh, Salakshi also sort of answer this question. If that's yeah. okay. Once the tax is paid over here and return is filed, you are allowed to repatriate the money to a maximum of $1 million in a financial year. So that is the cap for repatriation for the current year. Okay. 
Thank you. Thanks. And I think we have Narayan Muttaya wanting to ask a question. If uh, Narayan can be unmuted, we can, uh, we can, you can come in and ask your question, please. Uh, hello. Th thanks to everyone. Thanks for the panelists and Sekapan for this uh, session. Uh, now the question I'll add here again. So currently, I think, uh, I think Palniya uh, Panasunanga actively uh, uh, I think there are two things like yeah, passively to be active or actively to be passive. Actively passive and passively active, rather than passively active. Yeah. yeah. So if, uh, the PMS schemes last for I would say like two, three years, four years. I think a lot of these uh, uh, providers are giving the PMS service, right? Portfolio. Okay. So how do you think like is it too different from the kind of work like what these uh, services do uh, in terms of let's say mutual fund or funds of mutual fund or PMS in terms of equity? Yes. See, PMS is the portfolio management services. In the last three years, even all the, none of the PMS managers proved in India. Only a marketing sort of thing. So even mutual fund is also, they gave negative return of 20 to 26 percentage only. They have shown some recovery in the past two to three months only. Especially the pharma fund has grown. It is goes parallel to the market only at that. So risk is always there, even if you go to PMS, even if you go to mutual fund, even if you invest directly, the risk is also there. But by doing in mutual fund, you can minimize your risk. That's what I can say. But the PMS is mostly on to stocks, right? Like on to equity, right? PMS is on to stocks only, yes. Okay, okay, thanks. And uh, generally to all the panelists, like if I have time, like one more question is about the PE ratios. I think now, nowadays, I think anywhere, like I think this leveraging is so high, like I think we are running into like kind of 30s and 35s and even 40s sometimes, right? Nama Puduva Nagarata Ridula Vandu Modal Potu and the Modal Kirikravati, the Adapunt Nadilaro, Adamaradam Panu. But even this kind of situation, what's happening around the world, uh, do you think is it sustainable in a long term basis? See, hey, uh... The future is also bright. Okay, market knows something better than us, and then market knows ahead than what we come to know. Okay, we have to get the information. For example, if you have a Google, you have to get Google or earnings negative or higher valuation. Even Warren Buffet, when the FANG stocks, like Apple, enter for the renovation around less than $100. Uh, stocks, he also missed the opportunities. So my, I feel that uh, pros and cons are there, is highly debatable. There is no right or wrong, only time can answer that. So we should take our own call, but still, uh, future models can be longer than Can I Can I answer something on that PE yeah. ratio point? Yeah, yes, please. Yeah. So the PE ratio is quite interesting, right? So if you look at a company like uh, Google, at the moment it trades at 32 times PE, uh, its growth rate is definitely single high digits. So it's about 8%. Whereas if you look at Unilever, its PE ratio is 22, its growth rate is about four. So that's the problem. You've got an environment where, you know, the quality, where earning stability is there, the market is willing to pay a premium for that earning stability. The market is willing to pay a premium for growth, the FANG stocks. On the other hand, you take a bank share. So you take Lloyds Bank in the UK, or you take, you know, if Deutsche Bank, you take BNP. They all trade like 0.5 times book value. Right. So the market is already differentiated between growth, what kind of growth it wants to have, and so forth. So if you take energy, um, you know, British Petroleum, BP, for instance, it has no PE, there's no earnings. So the reality is you can't, in an environment where there's so much liquidity, you know, purely looking on PE terms is a bit difficult. So you need to start looking at your portfolio construction in terms of you know, what is it that I want to have? It is the growth, it's the future growth and how to invest in that growth. Then you need to look at what is the stability of the earnings? And do you think that the market premium is going, is justified for that stability of earnings? I hope that makes uh, sense. Yeah, thank you, thank you for the answer. Take up one more point there, right? Take up yeah, okay. I'll answer the pair when the P ratios are matum path to opportunities and mispanitranga, palnepanasanamari. 
what i would suggest is right just leaving the pe ratio alone you look at the earnings earnings graph for parunga or continuous continuity irukkanaaka that is fine you should go with that and now the pe ratio la there a lot of in, insights irukke one off transactions irukke up and down irukku the nariya issues varudhu ungal earning stability irundhu revenue graph earnings graph roe roc avanga sonna ellame irundhuchuna i would keep pe as the last because i have seen many cases pe nale nariya per vande opportunity miss pandranga adukku vande ipo vande vera enna pe um growth equal a irukka nu paakranga pe um growth um edu up edu down appadi nu varudhu so the lot of ways you can metrics avanga sonna mari idhu or mudive kedaiyadhu ninga evlo pesnaalum there always be other side to keep on going like that so as long as you are happy with the earnings and it meets your expectation and the graph is looking good you must go for it the the pe op one vach don't lose the opportunities nga da solla varan okay okay thank you nada it's very clear i think we have to just like manage the growth stocks and the stable stocks See, first you should have conviction and then you should enter into market in a phased manner and there is a drop you should average it that is the way we can go ahead. this is the way to minimize the risk Uh, thank you, speakers. Thank you, Narayan, for your question. After the one, we have uh, Ulagu Subramanian from Warrington. Can we unmute her so she can ask a question, please? Uh, hello, Vanakam. Cake, da? Yeah, loud and clear. Please, sir. Okay. Uh, Ille pa anga. I mean, income from India, when the tax threshold comes, I mean, the tax threshold is not there, so we are earning basic income, na tax angle is not in India, la. But in India, when the UK la, and the income come, when the tax cut, na ma. It's a it's a good question. Other interestingly, I don't think. I mean, uh, audit perspective, la UK will represent money. We do not have uh, no, a speaker it. today. So unless Think unless it. yeah, Anand can share some views on that, yeah. Think about the UK. When the worldwide basis is not there, normally, worldwide yeah. basis is not there. Your basic requirement is supposed to declare all income that you earn across the world. But the other matter, first, you get a clear with the fundamental point with the where your domicile, where your resident. That was just after the war. You get a domicile in UK or resident in UK. That is clear. I did. So UK is on a territory basis, a worldwide basis. I am going to answer the question as elimination process. Worldwide basis is not there. எல்லா இன்கமே அங்க நீங்க கொண்டு வர வேண்டியது உங்களுடைய ஒரு रिक्वायरमेंट அது வந்து எக்ஸெம்ப்டடா இல்லங்கறது அது அந்த லோக்கல் நிட்டிகிட்டிஸ பார்த்து இப்படி சா below 1000 பவுண்ட்ஸ் வேண்டாம் above 1000 பவுண்ட்ஸ் டிக்ளேர் பண்ணுங்க அந்த மாதிரி அது வந்து இட்ஸ் a third or second level of level ல போகும்போது அதை நீங்க பார்த்துக்கணும் but by right you are supposed to declare worldwide basis அந்த ஒரு அடிப்படையில நீங்க டிக்ளேர் பண்ணனும்ங்கற எண்ணத்துல நீங்க இருக்கணும் மத்தவங்க கிட்ட அதை கேட்டு என்ன அமௌண்ட் என்ன கேப்ங்கறது தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் ஓகே थैंक्स Thank you, thank you, thank you, both of you. Arthur, and we've got uh, Tiago to ask us a few questions. Please, following Tiago will be Lakshan Lagappan. So, first of all, Tiago, unmute, Panna, he can ask his questions. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for a uh, uh, wonderful session uh, going on. Uh, the question I've got is: if you're taking individual stocks out of question, if you're looking at funds or ETFs as a strategy to invest. would you uh, uh, what are the uh, advantages of investing in either funds or or, or etfs as, as separate vehicle i think if meena can answer this question more pertinent yeah. to the uk perspective uh so etfs are cheap you get access to the market so there is no so they're very good tools to make a portfolio asset allocation choice do i want to invest in asia do i want to invest in the us you get the market return and in a very cost effective way now as i've said that that is inefficiency in the market particularly in the uk uh, in asia for instance where active managers have demonstrated their ability to add value add alpha excess return where is where is in the uk uh us you know the number of mutual funds the active funds in the us that have actually beaten the s&p is much less so very clearly you know as a starting point if you don't have any knowledge of finance if you don't know what you want to do but you obviously have an idea asia is going to grow okay let me invest in asia the most cost effective way is to go and buy an etf on asia now if you want to start doing work and there is a lot of information available out there just as parneepan said in his presentation 
you know, today the volume of financial information available to a layman is huge. And then if you do the research, then you can find investments which will be able to meet, beat the market and therefore you can invest in that. But that's the second layer that you should, have, you should go to if you don't have the expertise in my view. Thank you. <coughs> uh, thank you. Thanks for uh, answering the question, uh, um, Tiago. Uh, next, we'll move on to Laksa Lagappan. You've been on unmute, so if you can ask your question, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, wonderful session. Uh, very insightful. So, one question on portfolio construction. Okay. So, as a retail investor, so we can look at, let's say, stocks, fixed income, and commodities. I mean, my question is, I mean, uh, is there anything else that we should look at as a new retail investor? And what would be the proportion? Even in stocks, you can look at multiple geographies, US, UK, and uh, Asia. So any, any suggestions on what geographies and what uh, percentages of allocation? Any, any ideas? Welcome. See, in this current scenario, US is, looks very attractive and attractive in the sense, the forthcoming election is there. Until then, the market has to be maintained. Otherwise, the chances of losing for the existing president is much higher. So my gut feeling is that until then, he won't leave the US market to fall. But volatility is going to be much higher. So if you are a high-risk trader, you can touch that. If you want to look for value, India is one of the India mid cap and small cap is one of the best one. So it's all up to us what sort of risk you can take it. Or uh, to uh, thank you, thank you, uh, both. And now we have uh, Venkatesh to ask his question. That will be followed by Shanmo, please. So we can have Venkatesh. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh, it was a very wonderful section. Just a question for Visalakshi. I just wanted to know, you said, I remember you saying that uh, you cannot invest in uh, PPF funds. Uh, uh, NRIs cannot invest in PPA, uh, PPF funds. Uh, is it so? Uh? Yes, it is. There is a restriction for NRIs. There are certain investments where you cannot invest. PPF is one such investment. You cannot invest in PPF. Uh, if... if uh, uh, a person had invested uh, prior to he being a, becoming an NRI, will that be accepted? No? Yeah. When you are an Indian resident, you are eligible to invest in Provident Fund. Later, when your your residential status is transferred to non-resident, it is not, there's no problem in that. Okay, fine. Right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Next, we can have uh, Shanmo to ask his question, please. Uh, thanks. Ramba useful session. Ramba useful uh, question is, uh, uh, RBI gold bond sonanga, sovereign gold bonds. Yeah. 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 Uh, NRIs and PAOs invest in the last time uh, SBI approach. Yeah. Uh, check NRIs cannot invest in that. Okay, okay. Anna, 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 I did appa, and the title it was very attractive, but yeah, opportunity. <laughs> Yes, even you can hedge the gold that is a, but still India la parents in the Indian in the you can use that. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank Partha, we have a question from Chidambaram, please. Chidambaram in front. Uh, <clears throat> uh, question to uh, Pananyapanan. And then you pay some of the uh, stock picking. La. Uh, yeah. uh, thousand crore minimum stocks are you popping a market cap, market cap, uh, market cap. Other than you advise punning, advise punning and so on. A pretty number choose punnabo the stock price on the other Adigamarco, yeah, and stock price Adimarco, other than the beginner or new entrant, Gula Varambo, the Wanger, the customer, yeah, Illa, Illa, Nia, when they stock picking eleven day, market cap thousand crore. Companies for the management, see the value. See, all the management support has, support has to be considered here. Uh, price, market cap, fundamentals, valuation, performance. So, don't give too much of importance to market cap. Okay, okay. and yeah. are they related? I put a company on the year on year on the balance sheet. Results produce pandranga. Yeah. Uh, whether company goes well or not, on the share, shareholders dividends yeah. so, but nothing to the employees. 
அது வந்து என்ன ரேஷனல் அது என்ன ரேஷனல் அது வாட் இஸ் ஒரு ஒரு இந்தியா பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் என்னை கேட்டீங்கன்னா அந்த டிவிடென்ட் அங்கிறதெல்லாம் விட்டுட்டு வேல்யூ கிரியேட் ஆகுமாங்கிறத நம்ம பார்க்கணுங்கிறது என்னோட அபிப்ராயம் நீங்க வந்து அது கோல்ட் அனாலிசிஸ் பத்தி சொல்லிருந்தீங்க இப்போ இப்ப இருக்கிற சுச்சுவேஷன்ல கோல்ட் ரேட் அதிகமா தான் இருக்கு அண்ட் டவுன் த லைன் எப்படி இருக்கும் இது வந்து இப்ப யூஎஸ் எக்கானமி வந்து இஃப் தே பிரிண்ட் நோட்ஸ் கோல்ட் வில் கோ அப் ஃபர்தர் சப்போஸ் இப்ப யூரோப் யூனியன் வந்து கிட்டத்தட்ட லெவன் தௌசண்ட் டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோல்ட் தே ஹேவ் யூஎஸ் கண்ட்ரி இஸ் ஹேவிங் எயிட் தௌசண்ட் டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோல்ட் இஃப் தே ஸ்டார்ட் அட் செல்லிங் கோல்ட் கேன் கம் டு டுவெல் ஹண்ட்ரட் டாலர்ஸ் பர் அவுன்ஸ் சப்போஸ் இஃப் தே ஆர் பிரிண்டிங் நோட்ஸ் இட் கேன் கோ அப் டு ஈவன் ஈவன் கேன் கிராஸ் டூ தௌசண்ட் டாலர்ஸ் பர் அவுன்ஸ் இன்னைக்கு டேட்ல வந்து தெர் இஸ் பாசிபிலிட்டி தட் most of the countries who are holding gold as a reserve will have to sell it in order to kick start the economy and bring it back to normal so namma epdi veetla aachi mar gold vechirukanga adha namma vena eduthu vittukala namma solrumo andha maadhiri dhaan over government la irukra reserves inni kama gold vittha dhaan avangala immediately edukka mudiyum note printing pandrathu or strategy vechirukranga but ana adha unnecessary inflation create panni vittrom adanalayum so there is a possibility that gold supply will come down and come into the market and once the lockdown is open then the gold will go down and everybody will start investing in other areas after that all right uh, thank you ba thank you thank you thank you for the answers next we'll have selva to ask his question please hello hello everyone romba informative session thanks uh, to all your uh, knowledge and sharing it with uh, with us enakku vandu rendu question irukke as a retail investor vandu and ninga sonna mari pio illati roc yo illati in the fact that ellam base panni nammala invest panna mudiyuma do you have the energy the capacity the time idellam paathu invest pandradhukku retail investor ku share market is really worth it illati neenga vera vera mari investment panni mutual fund illati property unga experience la or na retail investor nu solradhu vandu abroad la irukanga maybe some people can invest 10 lakh some people can invest 50 lakhs avangala or middle range investor da na kekkuren so how will you get do you think the stock market is really worth spending the time and effort in this day and time uh, to make a better return out of it or you'd have to go for a brick and mortar like a property investment other than you suggest pandering nichayama nama chinnama padikkala nama padichirpom kai tholil ondre kattukol kavale unak illai appdi nama priyanga solli kuduthirukanga market is also something like that you cannot depend on somebody else throughout your career you cannot in the irka world la vandu everybody is going commercial so what i suggest is you have if you are if you want to invest even 10 lakh or 20 lakh it may be small but small is always beautiful then you want to invest you have to learn it you no need to spend anything beyond or a 4 hour 5 hour la venda or nalaiki 30 minutes if you spend it is more than enough enga clients la ladies la they are making good money they made very good money also they replaced the covid uh, crash effectively and then Uh, so that's what i say so apdi inga inga adoda follow up or question idu vandu or short term ah day trading la poralama illati or long term ena inda fundamentals la nam padikiram nu chunga for example google la pay research padikiram na you can't employ it before you actually employ it before you actually see the results the market has gone against you so you are in either in a negative equity or in a bit of a shock ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கும்போது நம்ம லாங் டேர்ம் மினிமம் ஒரு ஒன் இயர்க்கு பார்க்கணுமா இல்லாட்டி ஒரு ஒன் இயர் அப்படிங்கிறது ரொம்ப ஷார்ட் டேர்ம்ங்கிறது என்னோட அபிப்பிராயம் சி ஐ எம் அ பர்சன் ஐ ஐ ஐ கிரியேட் வேல்யூ ஓவர் டுவெல் இயர் பீரியட் ஒன்லி ஓகே ஸோ நீங்கள் வந்து ஒரு நம்ம செட்டியார்கள் வந்து லாஸை எப்படி சொல்லுவாங்கன்னா முட்டி கொள்முதல் அப்படிம்பாங்க அந்த நட்டம்னு சொல்ல மாட்டாங்க ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இப்போ நான் வந்து எம்பிஏ முடிச்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் டேரக்டாக ட்ரைனிங் எங்க சித்தப்பா ஆபீஸ்ல எடுத்துட்டு நான் டேரக்டா அதுக்கப்புறம் மெம்பர்ஷிப் எடுத்து வந்தேன் ஸோ எங்க அப்பா வந்து முதல் குடுக்கல எனக்கு சொன்னாங்க தம்பி ரெண்டு வாட்டி நம்ம வீட்டுல தோக்கலாம் மூணாவது வாட்டி தோத்தா கணக்கப்படல அப்படின்னா 
ஓகே சோ நம்ம வந்து நத்திங் ராங் இன் மேக்கிங் லாஸ் அத புத்தி கொள்முதல வர வச்சிட்டீங்க டோன்ட் டு தி மிஸ்டேக் ஓகே சோ இன்னொரு ஃபாலோ அப் क्वेश्चन அதனால வந்து நீங்க சொன்னீங்க இப்ப என்ஆர்ஐ வந்து डायरेक्टली மார்க்கெட்ல இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ண முடியாது இல்ல ஆட் டு கம் डायरेक्टली நல்லா பண்ணலாம் பின்ஸ் அக்கவுண்ட்ல நல்லா பண்ணலாம் डायरेक्टली நீங்க பண்ணலாம் பண்ண முடியாதலாம் யாரும் சொல்லல மியூச்சுவல் ஃபண்ட்லயும் பண்ணலாம் பின்ஸ்லயும் பண்ணலாம் யுஎஸ் அண்ட் கனடா பேஸ்ட் இன்வெஸ்டர் மட்டும் தான் மியூச்சுவல் ஃபண்ட்ல பண்ண முடியாது डायरेक्ट மார்க்கெட்ல நல்லா பண்ணலாம் ஓகே சோ மியூச்சுவல் ஃபண்ட்ல யார் வேணாலும் இப்ப என்ஆர்ஐ யார் வேணாலும் डायरेक्टली இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ணலாம் 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 மியூச்சுவல் ஃபண்ட்லயும் பண்ணலாம் डायरेक्ट ஈக்விட்டிலயும் பண்ணலாம் ஓகே ஓகே थैंक यू Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, Selva, thank you, Palni Apple. Uh, next one, the Ramasamy would like to ask some questions, please. Ramasamy. Ramasamy, uh, King Lang, your has it been unmuted? Uh, like while we wait for Ramasamy to come, we can. Uh, Tiago has another question, so we can have. Tiago and then Lux also has another question. We'll take these two questions. In the meantime, if we can connect uh, Ramaswamy, we will unmute Ramaswamy as well. Tiago, now. Hi. Uh, thanks for accepting the, the, the question. Uh, it was Selva Sonamari. Uh, you, 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 there are in Indian-focused funds in UK itself. Uh, a lot of the uh, companies here do offer uh, uh, India-focused funds uh, alone. So. investing through that channel how is that very different to investing in uh, india itself uh, 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 can anybody shed light on that i think we'll have uh, meena and palniyappan answer this question from an india and a an uk and global perspective palniyappan if you can start off. meena first shall i go yeah yes okay. yes meena uh, so obviously in india you have a uh, sorry in the uk you can invest in india through an i shares product which is an etf in the indian market indian overall market if you don't if you want to go down the active route uh, the global asset managers have products as well uh, including jupiter goldman sachs aberdeen standard life the indian um, asset managers like kotak and hdfc also have uk compliant products or european compliant usage products now those are more active funds and uh, but for my personal experience they all tend to be very very similar you know the amount of money that they make away from the benchmark is quite limited they all have the hdfc bank they have you know the icici they have reliance they have tcs so you know uh if you don't want to do the work uh and you're a uk resident then you might just want to buy the iShares MSCI India uh which personally i think is a um, is a sub optimal investment in india but that's the that's the options uh thank you i think mina you well answered that if you unless you have more questions we can move on to lux alagappan please tiago yeah lux alagappan can you come in with your uh, additional questions that you had please hello can you hear me yes yes lux sir yeah okay so my question is on investing in gold so there are multiple ways of investing in gold so you can invest through a gold etf you can buy bars or coins especially in the uk you can do that you can buy gold jewelry you can also go, go with uh, fintechs like uh, bullion market and so on as well as gold futures so i mean what's the best option if you are not looking for really gold jewelry that you need to safeguard so i hear uh, etfs are not a be- be- best better option so I, i don't know so i'm just thinking what's the better option what's the suggestion from the panel so if you're looking at gold and you don't want to physically own gold um then the etfs are an option uh you have to be very careful of how you're investing so the question is if you are investing through an isa then you cannot invest in a product that will give you the physical gold at the end of the day so you have to be very careful about the wrapper in which you're investing as well the second the other option to invest in gold if you don't want the physical gold or the etf is basically buying gold equity so things like newmont uh, barrick gold uh, so companies but unfor- those are leveraged investments in gold so as the gold price keeps going up they will 
they'll go up a lot more. So it's an, it's an exposure to gold, but in a leveraged way. So those are the three options, physical, through an ETF, or through the gold equities. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lux. Next, we'll have Ram to ask his question. I think Ram has been unmuted now. Ra Ramaswamy. நமக்கு <laughs> or can we move on to the next which will be madhu hello uh, everyone wonderful session thank you very much visalakshi ki or question vechirken ninga gifts vandu capital gains tax illama appa avanga mooliyama anuplam appdin solli irundinga ipo adhe gift vandu or adhavadhu amount ah illama if they have given land as a gift and if it is registered on your name or your spouse name naka what will happen to the sale of that land uh, is it still considered as a gift or will that be uh, you know taxed anna ipo vande agriculture land ungala gift ah kudukranga appadina neenga vande unga perla and property vandrum na sonna maadhiri agriculture land nra hold panna mudiyadhu ana gift ah varappa you will have to go through few restrictions அது அந்த வந்து யூ ஹேவ் டு ரிப்போர்ட் டு ஆர்பிஐ அந்த மாதிரி ஃபியூ ஃபார்ம்ஸ் பிரஸ்கிரைப் இருக்கு அத இஃப் வி ஃபினிஷ் இட் தென் we can sell the same and we can repatriate them you can sell the agriculture land only to a resident indian okay but are the land ah irundadha land or uh, property ah agriculture land illame non agriculture land ah irundhuchna na sonna maadhiri ungalku gift ah varudhu காஸ்டும் प्रीवियस ஓனர் காஸ்ட் நீங்க எடுத்துக்கலாம் ஹோல்டிங்கும் प्रीवियस ஓனர் ஹோல்டிங் எடுத்துக்கலாம் நீங்க அத விக்கலாம் வித்துட்டு டாக்ஸ் பே பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் யூ கேன் ரீபேட்ரியேட் தி மணி ஓகே थैंक यू थैंक यू மது we will probably i mean in the session வந்து end ஆகற planned time வந்து 3:30 we are already 40 minutes past thank you speakers for continuing to stay on and take more questions we continue to have more questions now i probably think global audience இது வரைக்கும் வந்து members of nagrata sangam uk and lns cricket no we'll now open up for the global audience uh, uh, so if you are still interested in asking a question please put that forward in the meantime when the venkat subhu had asked an interesting topic which was uh, one of the topics we missed that will be going back to palaniyappan which i think will be uh, of use to a lot of us which will be the interest industries to look out for i mean given the covid situation i know you had two beautiful slides on this listing a lot of industries yes. but if i want if you can share that i'm sure whether it's india uk everywhere we'll have it will be an interesting thing to pick it up so palneepan please answer that yeah uh india oporthu varaikum in the covid ku apra vande global level la it gained its credibility இப்ப சைனா வந்து எடுத்தீங்கன்னா சைனா இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் வந்து இந்தியாவுக்கு மூவ் ஆகிறதுக்கு ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் ஆர் மச் ஹையர் இந்தியாவில வந்து டூ சீஸ் இன்னமும் ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்கு ஒன்னு வந்து என்ன நினைக்கிறீங்கன்னா கரப்ஷன் இன்னொன்னு வந்து காம்ப்ளிகேட்டட் லாஸ் இப்ப யூ ஆல் மேட் பி நோயிங் வாட் ஆர் ஆல் தாப்ளம்ஸ் இன் வித் இந்தியா இன்கன்சிஸ்டன்சி இந்த லாஸ் but in the covid nala vandu pathinga what we expect na lot of acquisitions and merger can happen in india and globally also if uh, auto component companies are uh, having their base in U europe too but they are coming out of it now so for example minda industries they sold their uh, uh, subsidiary unit uh, like that lot of n number of companies are coming out they are downsizing themselves and then 
very uh, companies are available for cheap, uh, sale at cheap valuations. Future, I've been fighting, uh, healthcare is having a bright future. Pharmaceutical sector and healthcare is having a very bright future. Uh, still, vaccine now produced from the they have a very bright, bright future. Even vaccine, for the next 10 year to 20 year, over country or spending them. Defense is equal to the equal rate is health care. Chances are very bright. So there should be a re rating in the healthcare sector. That's why we have online coaching classes. There is a very big opportunity where most of our children are learning through online education. Then digital solution. For example, if we have a UK, London, UK, London, 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 Gig economy. So uh, permanent employment lama contract labor which companies can uh, make make their job done. So they have a very bright future. Stock market, because of the volatility, stock market is having a bright future. Then gaming, online gaming. In India, a lot of online gaming companies are uh, growing every day. Insurance sector is having a bright future now. Then another very big scope is there in digital marketing and network marketing. Digital marketing, uh, the way forward that is having a very bright future. So next uh, students can look into that. There is a very big opportunity waiting for you all there. Then data science. If uh, Amazon lamp, I think, uh, data analytics and uh, the period future. When you over website by search pending, uh, they are doing the follow up now. Last time you have search pending, uh, they are there, the pop up is happening. So the data science is having a bright future. Then spiritual science. See, if in the COVID nala, yellow vitriculare modany karakanga, vitriculare a lot of misunderstanding is happening. Uru vitriculare yella apoplege sandavarde. So, idella the spiritual science nala, they can uh, control their emotions. So, then cloud kitchen is having a bright future. See, if a restaurant poe in a mokan, the sapta kalangala, putje, if a yellow nala had the open and the triad. So, takeaway foods are there. So, cloud kitchen is having a bright future. Uh, then chemical and pharmaceutical, as usual, they are, uh, I say, Mark and Diane, I say. So these are all the industries. I am uh, very, very optimistic. Uh, thank you, Palnipan. Thank you. We have uh, further questions coming up through the chat window. Uh, Nagaraj and Ranganathan, what he says is, I have a DMAT account in ICICI Direct since 2010, and some shares I have more than eight years is long term. Since 2013, I've become an NRI and I'm currently in Oman. Last year onwards, I've started to do trading in normal DMAT account. Please advise, shall I continue with the same account for further investment and trading? Or should I need to change the NRI DMAT account? See, in India, they are not even reporting to income tax or anything. Very soon, they will get caught. So better in future, you sell that and then you come to things. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's the best practice. So best practice advice. Uh, Arvind is asking us about uh, any insight for a youngster in wanting to have a career in finance. Are there any comments about CFA as a qualification? So I'll probably start with Manan and see if this is something that he'll be able to take on and then followed by Meena to see if she's got any thoughts on CFA as a qualification option within within the UK? Uh, uh, CFA is a, that's a chartered financial analyst qualification. It's a good one to go for. I mean, obviously, you're like, getting yourself into the equity market, stock broking, analyst, other basic amenities. a diversify for the kid. Easier Goldman Sachs and the companies like. Uh, but let's build up it's a good uh, it's a recognized and well reputable qualification to go for so i don't see any any issue with that and end of the day in the qualification panala it all depends on what you want to do where is your passion and what is your keen motive that's what is more important foundation vision passion or five years ten years what do you want to do and the clarity line, you should go. Otherwise, you're just going in for a very long time and you're committing yourself for a hard study and things. But say it's a good qualification, good recognition. As long as you like it and you have a passion for it, yes, you can go for it. 
Thank you, Meena. Would you like to add anything to what Anand has said on this topic? CFA is, CFA is definitely a well uh, global recognized qualification, uh, particularly if you want to be in the asset management industry, it is definitely worth getting that qualification. But if you want to go and be a prop trader at an investment bank, you might want to think of something else. But, you know, it, it, it's another qualification. So, Thank you. Thanks, Meena. Uh, if we can unmute Anand. Anand wants to, sorry, we've had a lot of questions. I'm trying to keep track of it. Anand wanted to talk about uh, agri-investment. So if we can unmute Anand. The next will be, uh, while Anand is preparing his question, we'll have Vela Yudham Chidambaram to be unmuted following Anand. Hello. Yes, Anand, go on, please. Uh, um, thanks for this wonderful session. Um, actually, in agri pati ni ngasol mo the direct investment NRI is panna mudiyadun solin dinga. But um, if parents India le vanda gana, angu mulma panla ma. If the money is coming through NRI le NRO account na, that will be a problem ma. Uh, that's another question. Thanks. Uh, will Vishal actually be able to take this or Palani open on on matters? Yeah. Of See, yeah. NRIs are not allowed to invest in. agriculture land they are not allowed to buy agriculture land in india but still indians namma ellarume hindus there is another account called hindu undivided family account i want everyone to explore that route also so through that route you can do that thank you thank you palni if one point add pandradhukku vandu add one point if you are interested to buy it in your parents name you can send your money to your nre account nre account la irundhu you can give it to your parents your parents can invest in their name later when you want to take it back the same route will be reversed parents will sell and give the money to you you can again take it back as free package what about hgf account achi hgf use pannala laya hgf account vandu you can also try if okay. hgf funds should pannala appadina they can try the alternative Yeah. India la vandu chettiars and gujaratis are the people having highest number of hgf accounts oh, that's that's an interesting I want to explore that route also uh, thank you palip and thank you visalakshi next we will have a question from vela yudham please hello vanakkam kekra i want to come thanks for a very good session i think my question is to Uh, Dr. Meena and Vishalakshi of the India. It's about the domicile UK. They want to change the domicile UK. How long? How to do it? After how many years they will be exempted from uh, inheritance tax of UK? Uh, so you become a uh, domicile of the UK if you have lived here continuously for seventeen years. Uh, then you lose your non-dom status, so you'll have to start paying on a global basis. That's my understanding of it. But as I mentioned, you know my expertise is on the investment management side. Um, but if you want, I can definitely get you some information on this and send it across later. Sure, thank you. Your sure, domicile one is a very complex area, and personal circumstances and situations matter a lot. But but I think uh, Mina shared the uh, shared the overall perspective. விசாலக்ஷி நீங்க எதுவும் ஆட் பண்ண நினைக்கிறீங்களா அதல UK domicile பத்தி எனக்கு எதுவும் ஐடியா இல்லனே fair enough fair enough thank you thank you for the question and uh, hopefully that will probably vandu velayam and uh, we'll probably need a more detailed uh, thing on each individual circumstance which we will not be able to do it here அடுத்து uh, we have a question from ram so we can unmute ram and we are we are coming up to almost 1 hour uh, ahead of the uh, planned time so with with this probably we'll take one more question and then we will we will hand over to the next steps in terms of uh, out of thanks etc so we'll have ram and we might just possibly able to squeeze one more question but uh, all the speakers have been very helpful very forthcoming our contact details so has been shared in the show before in the show mudinjadukapra we will have we will be sharing the youtube recorded version so you can also go back to that to pick up their contact details so so thank you for your questions thank you speakers for your time we'll take a question from ram and if there's one more question we'll probably take and then try to uh, try to move on to the next steps ram you can ask your question uh, vanakkam um 
இப்போ அண்ணன் பழனிய பண்ணன் சொன்ன மாதிரி நம்ம அந்த பணத்தை வந்து எப்படி பெருக்கி கொண்டு போகிறது பணத்தை எடுத்தோம்னா அந்த பணம் நமக்கு வளர்ந்து நமக்கு கொடுக்குங்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு மிகச்சிறந்த எடுத்துக்காட்டாக இதை ஏற்பாடு பண்ணியிருக்கீங்க ஏற்பாடுகளுக்கு நன்றி ஒரு கேள்வி என்னென்னா இப்போ அந்த அண்ணன் சிங்கப்பூரில் கம்பெனி ஆரம்பித்து அந்த கம்பெனியை இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் கம்பெனியாக வச்சு இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ண முடியும் அதில் வந்து கம்பெனி டேக்ஸை வந்து நிறைய ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் இருக்குது அப்படிங்கிறத நீங்கள் ஒரு இடத்துல சொன்னீங்க இப்போ நிறைய பேர் நிறைய பேர் பண்ணுறாங்கன்னு கேள்விப்படுறோம் அது வந்து எந்த மாதிரி அளவில் இருக்கும்போது பண்ணுறது எஃபெக்டிவ் அதாவது டென் தௌசண்ட் பவுண்டா இல்லை ஹண்ட்ரட் தௌசண்ட் பவுண்ட் இருந்தால் நல்லதா அதை மாதிரி சமயத்தில் அதை மாதிரி யோசிக்கிறது நல்லதா அந்த அளவு நம்ம நம்ம இப்ப பண்ணிக்கிட்டு இருக்க இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட்ல நம்ம ரிட்டர்ன்ஸ் பாத்துக்கிட்டு இருப்போம் எந்த பிசினஸ் இருந்தாலும் சரி எதுவா இருந்தாலும் எந்த அளவு சரியா இருக்கும் அது எப்படி யோசிக்கிறது அதுக்கு எப்படி ஸ்டார்ட் அப் பண்றது எஃபிஐ ரூட் இப்ப நீங்க ஒரு கார்பரேட் மூலமா பண்ணணும்னா யூ ஹேவ் செவி அப்ரூவல் ஃபார் எஃபிஐ ரூட் ஃபாரின் போர்ட்ஃபோலியோ இன்வெஸ்டர் அப்ரூவல் இருந்தா தான் பண்ண முடியும் அது வந்து ஒரு சின்ன சைஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபண்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் அஃபோர்டபிள் முடியாது வெரி பிக் சைஸ் at least you should have in ayana talks 25 crores plus in that mudiya i think uh, uh, my cousin meena can answer this in precise manner uh sorry so, i we can just go and rephrase enoda kelvi enna na ipo investment company set up panni for example europe la luxembourg la set up panni um இங்க ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்றாங்க இங்க வேற பிசினஸ்ல இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்றாங்க பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த டாக்ஸ் ஹேவன் அந்த இடத்துல டாக்ஸ் பண்றது பெட்டர் அந்த மாதிரி சொல்றாங்க அண்ணன் இன்னைக்கு ராமசாமி சொக்கலிங்கம் அண்ணன் பேசும்போது கூட சொன்னாங்க சிங்கப்பூர்ல வந்து ஏசியால பண்றதுக்கு ஒரு ஹப்பு அத மாதிரி பண்ணலாம் நீங்க வந்து இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் பண்ணலாம் அப்படிங்கிறாங்க இப்போ என்கிட்ட ஒரு ரெண்டு கோடி ரூபாய் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா அதை வச்சுக்கிட்டு பண்றது ஒர்த்தா அதை மாதிரி யோசிக்கிறது ஒர்த்தா இல்ல நூறு கோடி ரூபாய் இருக்கும் போது இட்ஸ் வெரி எக்ஸ்பென்சிவ் லைக் டு செட் அப் யுவர் ஓன் கம்பெனி ஈவன் தோ யூ கேன் பெனிஃபிட் ஃப்ரம் தேக்ஸ் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் யூ வில் ஹாவ் டு ஹாவ் குவைட் பிக் ஃபங்ஸ் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் ஆர் பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் ஆர் அட்வைஸ் டு கிளைன்ஸ் இஸ் டோன்ட் ஓபன் யுவர் ஓன் ஃபண்ட் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் மோர் தென் டென் டு டுவெண்ட்டி மில்லியன் பவுண்ட்ஸ் Uh, I don't know how much that is in Indian rupees, but that's the amount of money we're talking about. Because the cost of setting it up, you know, the structure, the lawyer's fees, you know, uh, every year you need to get an independent administrative valuations, you know, um, is quite expensive. You need to have directors and everything. So it is quite expensive and you, it really has to pay off for you to be able to do that. I think, I think the question from Ram was more of a Singapore uh, perspective. எடுக்கும்போது <laughs> ஃபாரின் டைரக்ட் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ரூட்ல வர்ற போது அது வந்து அங்க கேப் இருக்கு ஷேர் ஷேர் லிமிடேஷனுக்கு கேப் இருக்கு எஃப்டிஐ இவ்வளவு ஹோல்டு பண்ணலாம் லோக்கல்ல உள்ளவங்க இவ்வளவு ஹோல்டு பண்ணலாம் சில கைட் லைன்ஸ் எல்லாம் இருக்கிறதுனால அந்த ரூல்ஸ் அப்ளிகபிளா இருக்குது இப்ப நீங்க வந்து இங்க வந்து இண்டிவிஜுவல் ரீட்டைலர் ஆர் இண்டிவிஜுவல் இன்வெஸ்டர் உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஹண்ட்ரட் தௌசண்ட் பவுண்ட் பிப்டி தௌசண்ட் பவுண்ட் வாட் எவர் யூ பிளான் யூ கேன் இன்வெஸ்ட் பட் என்ன பண்ண போறோம் வாட் ஆர் யூ கோயிங் டு டூ வித் தட் அப்படிங்கிறது உங்களுக்கு ஒரு கிளியரா இருக்கணும் நான் சிங்கப்பூர்ல ஒரு கம்பெனி ஆரம்பிச்சுட்டு நான் மலேசியாவில் இந்தோனேஷியாவிலே போய் ஒரு இதில் ஜாயின் வெஞ்சரில் சேர்றேன் அங்கே போய் டேரக்டாக இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ணாமல் சிங்கப்பூரில் இன்வெஸ்ட் பண்ணுனா இங்கே கரன்சி ரெஸ்ட்ரிக்ஷன்ஸ் கிடையாது கேபிட்டல் கெயின் டேக்ஸ் கிடையாது சிங்கப்பூரில் நீங்கள் இந்த பணத்தை திருப்பி ரீபேட்ரியேட் பண்ணும்போதெல்லாம் உங்களுக்கு எந்த ரெஸ்ட்ரிக்ஷன்ஸும் கிடையாது அதனால தான் இதை வந்து கேட்வேன்னு நம்ம சொல்கிறோம் ஏன்னா இங்கே வந்து போகும்போது போகிறது ஈஸி திருப்பி உள்ளே வர்றது ரொம்ப ஈஸி மோர் டிரான்ஸ்பரண்ட் அண்ட் ஈஸியாக இருக்கிறதுனால அப்போ உங்களுக்கு வந்து இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஹோல்டிங் கம்பெனி வந்து டிபிடென்ட்டுக்கு டேக்ஸ் கிடையாது கேபிட்டல் கெயின் டேக்ஸ் கிடையாது அதனால பீப்புள் யூஸ் திஸ் ஆஸ் எ ரூட் டு இன்வெஸ்ட் த ஐடியா ஆஃப் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஹோல்டிங் கம்பெனி இஸ் ஃபார் யூ டு இன்வெஸ்ட் இன் அதர் கம்பெனிஸ் எஃப்டிஐ அவங்க சொல்ற கான்செப்ட் வந்து இஸ் மோர் ஆஃப் இன்வெஸ்டிங் இன் அன் எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் கம்பெனி அண்ட் யூ ஆர் ஆல்சோ மேனேஜிங் தட் வித் சைசபிள் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் விச் இஸ் டு கோயிங் டு தட் அது நீங்க கம்பெனியா ஃபண்ட் மேனேஜ்மெண்
இப்ப நீங்க தனியா நாளைக்கு போய் ஆரம்பிக்கீங்க ஒரு பிரைவேட் லிமிடெட் கம்பெனில போய் நீங்க ஒரு 25% ஒரு ஈக்விட்டி பாம்பே கம்பெனில வாங்குறீங்கன்னா கூட தட் will still come under FDI rules because you are a foreign direct investment angle la varringa so rendukku difference irukku the the root is different FDI is more of a law and process but your objective is what is the investment holding company and why do i need a investment holding company and what is the benefit of the investment holding company and the angle la paakumbodhu the and the answers are slightly different ipo na sonna maadhiri ungalku vandu its objective capital gain tax dividend expatriation currency value adu vandu appreciating currency ah illa depreciating currency ah ipo invest panni eduthu pora bodhu unga gain vandu normally currency devaluation la wash out aagirudhu all this happens in most of these things which you have to evaluate and make a sensible decision there okay romba romba nandri nandri thank you anand thank you for your answer uh, we'll take the last question from shalu which is for uh, visal akshi uh, if we can keep only for time constraints we will this will be the last question so apologies so ungala matha questions edukka mudrana can we have shalu to ask a question to visal akshi please uh, hello and uh, nam subramanian ga Um, oh, it's a very very nice session. Um, we really enjoyed it. A uh, very very informative session. Thank you so much. Um, uh, one question. I think uh, this is for Vishal actually. I'm going to tell you earlier. I just wanted to see whether I got this correct. Uh, if the interest income in India is in this, then that pay for the tax pay for the bills. Depending on the assessee's benefits, uh, they may have an option to pay the tax in India. or uk abingra maadhi avanga sonnadha na vandu catch panniten appra chocolate ingana sollum bodu anna sollum bodu some countries have territorial tax and worldwide tax abinanga appadi irukkum bodu uk ku interest inga declare panni pay pannanuma illa we have the option to pay the tax in india also adha yen question thank you so much for this session thank you want to answer first ah uh, i'll answer first sir interest income vandu I said, enna ninga vandu option eduthukalana act la vandu 30% tax pidipanga treaty la adu vandu 10% 15% tax irukku inda rendu tax rate la end beneficial la you can choose the tax rate and the tax ninga pay pannadukku appuram da you can repatriate the amount so you have to pay tax in india as well only then you can repatriate for the same interest income you will have to show that this will be a global income for you in uk this income should also be disclosed in uk and corresponding tax should be paid there by taking the already paid tax credit in india okay thank you okay i think yeah well, what she said is correct basically you know ungalku vandu idla point enna na vandu i think is ram right or shah what subramanian subramanian see source what you got to understand the first fundamental point vandu source இது எங்க டாக்ஸ் ஆகுது யாரு டாக்ஸ் பண்ற அதெல்லாம் வந்து இட்ஸ் பை ப்ராடக்ட் உங்களுக்கு ஆரம்பத்துல சோர்ஸ் எங்க இருந்து வருது இந்த சோர்ஸ் கண்ட்ரி ரெவன்யூ அந்த இன்கம் இஸ் ஜெனரேட்டட் இன் இந்தியா அண்ட் த இந்தியன் டாக்ஸ் அத்தாரிட்டிஸ் ஹாவ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரைட் டு டாக்ஸ் ஆன் தட் இன்கம் அந்த டாக்ஸ் கட்டி முடிச்ச பிறகு இப்போ விசாலாட்சி சொன்ன மாதிரி அந்த ஃபார்ம் பிப்டீன் சி அதெல்லாம் கட்சி நீங்க ரீபேட்ரேட் பண்ணி போயிடுறீங்க போன பிறகு அங்க குளோபல் இன்கம் டாக்ஸ்ல டிக்ளேர் பண்றீங்க but still you can claim the double tax agreement withholding tax in dta la ninga vandu double tax la the treaty relief ah ninga claim pannanum adu vandu ninga vandu for example simple ah solanumna ka ipo inda ungalku vandu 100 dollar tax kattra mari varudhu ngra bodhu na india la yerkana 20 dollar katti irukren appdi ninga and proper records la prove pannina na and 100 la and 20 dollar kalichittu verum 80 dollar mattum na kattna podum because you will get a credit relief for the tax you already paid international tax la enna naka vandu the tax will be the, the the source of income will be at the basic country unga domicile vachi it can be multiple tax rendavathu moonavathu vandu by international law income has to be taxed at only one point in time wherever the higher the tax rate is abbingal adutha kelvi apdi varumbodhu ungalku vandu credit relief kadaikum so adu neraya perukku theriyala adanal bayapadranga nama declare pannama world relief ah yes you have to do it but you will get it back ஆனா வந்து சர்டன் ரூல்ஸ் பொறுத்து உங்களுடைய லோக்கல் இன்கம் ஃபாரின் இன்கம் ரெண்டு மிக்ஸ் ஆகி ரேஷியோ வரும்போது உங்களுக்கு ஹண்ட்ரட் பெர்சன்ட் ரிலீஃப் கிடைக்கும்னு சொல்றது சில நேரத்துல கஷ்டம் அது நேச்சர் ஆஃப் இன்கம் பொறுத்திருக்கு இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன்கம்னா வேற மாதிரி பிஸ்னஸ் இன்கம்னா வேற மாதிரி இப்போ என்னுடைய எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஹண்ட்ரட் சொல்லியிருந்தேன் டாக்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி லோக்கல் டாக்ஸ் சொல்லியிருந்தேன் இந்த டுவெண்ட்டியும் உங்களுக்கு ரிலீஃபா கிடைக்கும்னு நீங்க நினைக்கலாம் பட் ஆனா பிராக்டிகல் லைஃப்ல பதினஞ்சு தான் கிடைக்கும் அஞ்சு கிடைக்காது ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி சில சுச்சுவேஷன்ஸ் அந்த லீவரேஜ் பாயிண்ட்ஸை நீங்க பேலன்ஸ் பண்ணிக்கணும் Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you, both of you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Anand. Thank you, everyone, for your questions. Uh, three and a half hours on a Sunday evening is by no means a joke. Uh, thank you for sharing this with us. Before I uh, hand it over to Kavita for an official vote of thanks, let me take my personal thanks to all the speakers for the last uh, three, four weeks, Naraya preparation. Uh, Inikyo show extended well beyond the planned time. So thank you all for your contribution. Thank you for sharing the knowledge. It was a pleasure interacting with you. Uh, with these words, I leave it to Kavita to deliver the official vote of thanks on behalf of the two sons. Thank you, Sekhar uh, Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks you for joining us this afternoon, evening, morning, depending on which time zone you're joining us from. Uh, today's talk was very interesting, informative, and covered a variety of subjects, um, which we will all find useful. And it's given us a lot of food for thought to go and digest after the three hours. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Chokalingam for the introduction to the session and Mani Meghle for her beautiful prayer at the start, which was over three hours ago. And uh, thanks for everyone for staying with us. Uh, thank you to Mr. Sekapan for coordinating, organizing, speaking during this uh, session and also moving it seamlessly through all the different sections. Thank you to our esteemed Nagaratar speakers, Mr. Chokalingam, Dr. Meena, Mr. Palaniyapan and Mrs. Visalachi, uh, who have shared their knowledge and expertise on all financial aspects. And um, th finally, thank you to the London Nagarta Sangam and UK Nagarta Sangam for overall organization and hosting of the meeting. And I look forward to all future sessions. Thank you. Thank you. That thank will you. be all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.